Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back to the What's Good podcast today, featured with Lexi Marie. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to go on. To, I was go on. on to, okay, uh, uh, Twitch streamer, K pop extraordinaire, Maybe dan- good. dancer. Good. Yeah, keep it going. Keep reactor. It going. Yeah. Tractor. <laughs> What? I'm just rhyming now. Oh, okay. I'm a rapper, by the way. You just so, called yeah, her a tractor. Just, just letting everyone know. God, yeah, I've called her a tractor. No, no, no. I was, I was referring <laughs> to a tractor in a third person to myself. <laughs> I see what you mean now. I see what you mean yeah, now. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I explained how this is going to be Randolph going off on tangents and we're going to look disapprovingly at him. <laughs> I'm not very good at not doing it. But yeah. this is a random thing. So last week we had Jamie on it. Mm. Jamie. And he told us all about how oh, name drop. But you got so many famous friends, know. mate. We, you you know, we just we just hang out with Jeremy. You know. <laughs> um, but he, he's not famous, though. He's not famous. Yeah, sorry. He's not. He he refuses to be accepted as famous. But he basically told us how he's taking up this weird thing of making rugs, rugs. He says rugs. Rug. So where are you from? Uh, Brighton. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean. <laughs> it's a rug. It's a rug. <sighs> yeah. Go on. How do you say? How do you we? How do we say rug? Rug. That's yeah. good. Yeah. See, yeah. That, that was sick. Can't that was that <laughs> you normally say rag. 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 You, you do kind of like have an A in there where there's meant to be an O. Jamie has made this <laughs> in like, yeah. He made it, yeah. He live streamed himself making this. That's wild. And it's actually like, it's very soft. It's very. It is soft. Soft very, on your feet as well. That's what I love about a car yeah. But he's made that in a, he made it in a day. That's crazy. I thought you got like proper custom. I was all right. No, okay. so he, he was here and he's like, oh, I'll make you guys a rug. And we were like, okay, yeah, cool, cool. Thinking like he would probably would forget or it'd be like three weeks or months later. And then like next day he's like, yeah, I've made it. He, I literally loaded yeah. up Twitch and just saw him like dancing, making a rug. <laughs> yeah. And then he, he takes me the next day. He's like, oh, by the way, I'm gonna, I've dropped it off at your concierge. I was like, oh, what a legend. Okay. Oh my God, what <laughs> Bro, guy? He's Honestly, he skated here as well. Yeah. Like he skated what? with a rug on his back. He's, 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 yeah, he's the first, guy, first person on the podcast to ever... I looked down, I saw him with a cape. <laughs> <laughs> but so, uh, I guess what are you making us? That's what I was actually going to ask, yeah. yeah. What, what do you want? What's missing? What's missing in the room right now? To be fair... What do you need for the feng shui? She made me a Jaeger bomb. I did make yeah. a Jaeger bomb. It was good? Was what, it, was it, was it, it was It was good. So I've, I've met Lexi once. Once. In person. Mm. In my own house. It was... In yeah. Britain. No. <laughs> In London. Oh, okay, in London. okay, okay, okay. Um, and yeah, I had a Jaeger bomb, which I, I honestly, I wasn't really expecting to drink until that night. <laughs> <laughs> You're the, he's the only one who didn't have one. You know, you did the look where you were like. <laughs> was, this, was this since you moved to London then? Yeah, uh, literally. Okay, yeah, like a, like a housewoman. Housewoming Jaeger bomb. I yeah. kind of was an uninvited guest. If it was. Yeah, yeah. Like, but Tali was there. And I was, yeah, if yeah, if yeah. there's one thing I've learned, it's that Simon's one of the girls. You are a that's girl. what I learned. That's what I learned. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you want to drink? Was it like a late night? No, I just you know, I, I was something? I was meant to just be seeing Talia, and then Talia was like, "Oh, by the way, I'm I'm here." And I was okay. like, "Okay, is is that you telling me to, to <laughs> come there, or is that, that? like?" Mm. She was like, "Yeah, I got like, come come here." I was like, "Okay," and then they were they were drinking. I ended up wow. having WKD and the Jaeger bomb. <laughs> Talia never had WKD before. I know. Why 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 were you drinking that? Why not? You can't go wrong. It tastes good. Does it taste bad? No. Exactly. But. Yeah, I guess. Exactly. So. <laughs> exactly. I'm not really going to argue, but why? Why? Yeah. Okay. What, what color was it? Blue. Oh, God. <laughs> what? Even worse than We I were thought. like, Tyler, we're giving you the full, like, 16 years old on the beach yeah, experience. That, you might as well have you know? had J2O or Schler. You might as well no, have Schler. No, no, don't no. crap on Schler like that. No, don't. Sh- Schler is nice. I like Schler. Schler it's not alcoholic, but if you think it is, it is. Like, you know, when you were a kid. You, <laughs> but, but now, when you when you're a kid, you drink slur. You're like, oh, I'm so waved. <laughs> at the, at the I Christmas can't table. say I've ever I thought. I think that was just you. I was gonna say I don't think I've ever had slur and thought I'm waved. I, my mummy put in like a wine glass that I feel fancy. Ex- exactly. But I wasn't yeah. like ten year old me wasn't five minutes later like. <laughs> <laughs> Why is the room spinning? I wasn't allowed slur at ten. What? Did you say how old were you? Say how old? How old are you? Damn, I was drinking slur. Oh. No, yeah, not WKD. I was knocking back WKD at 10 years <laughs> old. No, I, don't know no, what we're doing, Brian. This. Sorry, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry. Well, I wasn't allowed to slur at 10 years old. That, why? Because you had, well, because it's alcoholic. You know, Talia never had, right? I need to check that you had this. When you were a kid, do you ever have like smiley potatoes? No. <gasps> do you know what I'm talking about when I say that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, did you ever have that or, you know, fish fingers or... Oh, yeah. Or you turkey dinosaurs. Turkey dinosaurs. No, I never turkey dinosaurs. Know. You know who we need? We need like northern guests. They will. De- no, 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 no! Don't put this on northerners. <laughs> every every northerner has had like a smiley face made out of potato. It's like a hash brown. Yeah, right? but in a smiley face. Bang. I'm actually, I'm actually like, 
<laughs> I'm actually in shock that you've never had. That you've obviously had it, right? Yeah. I feel like yeah. everyone. You've never had it. Take it up with my mum. Talk to my mum about it. Where's your mum from? Brighton. Oh god. <laughs> Shocking. Wow. Shocker, I thought she meant from like uh, Leeds. My my family's from Leeds, but I don't know why that kind yeah, of got passed why. on. I don't know how that. Is that a new Savage jumper? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. It looks nice. You've never worn it before. I have. Nice, I like it. Thanks. Bro. Quite slim, slim, slim fitting. Thanks. Yeah, and sorry. I, 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 sorry. I was, I was, I, I, I saw the new hoodie. And I was like, <laughs> what's happening? Anyway, uh, yeah. So smiley faces. Okay. Um, we weren't talking about something special. It was smiley faces. I thought I might true. Just... They are special, yeah, but yeah, right. they are, they are. I'm, I'm gonna interject right now and say we're doing the what's good section. Okay, so we're gonna ask you if you like a random thing. When I say random thing, they are very random. Okay. And he's basically gonna either agree or disagree with you. And it's Randolph, so he'll argue. I need to like get argue it. Length real quick. And if you're from Brighton, I'll probably disagree a lot. Yeah, no, but I'm scared. I, I have to force this this subject in because the last two podcasts, we've just forgotten about it and not done it. And oh. it's meant to be like a tradition. Who was two weeks ago? Freya? Did, yeah. did we not do it with Freya either? No, we just forgot. This so this time, time I'm making... This person. It's going to be a make or break. Yeah, true. For our, for our true, 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 true. Well, so. We'll see. When I say oh, random, by the way, they are very random. Oh, God, I'm scared. Well, I, if you don't like it, you turn the light off. Well, you tell him to you turn the light off. Yeah, yeah. Wearing football tops as fashion. I don't know. I don't get it. So Lexis, I'm not a football fan though. So Le- like. Yeah, Lexis, turn the light off for those listening on audio. If you're not listening on audio, go and download us on Apple and Spotify and all that jazz, sure. please. Um, right, so football shirt is okay to wear as fashion if it's a vintage shirt. I feel that. If it doesn't have your name on the back or a player's name. And as long as you don't wear the full kit. Okay, I agree with that. But I, no I, one's wearing a full kit out. People wear the full kit out. To play football. Yeah, I've seen it. Uh. You're telling me you've seen some Donny turn up to a bar. And <laughs> yes. In, yes. And not on a night out. Like not uh, on a, not on a, not like a they're all out. done. Like on the street, yeah. You, right. In yeah, your football I've, socks and shorts. I've seen it about full kit wanker. That's what you call them. Mm. No, that's when they play it. Like seven aside, and they turn up in full kit. No, I, I've, 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 not 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 on nightclubs. I've never seen someone in a nightclub wearing the full. Spread. If I saw someone in a nightclub wearing a full kit, I would just turn around and back out. So like, I'm not even being in the same room. Surely it'd be a social or something. At like. that point, I would rate it though, because it's like you've got to be confident. You've got to be pretty confident, yeah, you know. Legit, legit. Okay, so that reaction you you just gave to that suggests the ick. Uh, yes. Ooh. Yeah. Oh my god. So, so we true. only learned what that is recently. Oh, how could what? Frey said that I give her the ick. <laughs> <laughs> She legit said that, remember, after the podcast. No, she said something you did give her the ick. Not just you. You can't just give <laughs> her just the ick. just walk into her room and go. Oh. If you, in general, just give someone the ick, they That's just find you unattractive. That's all that means. <laughs> never, I mean, I, but now I know that Fred will never find me attractive and it bothers me. What? That bothered me too, to be fair. I don't want her to be attracted to me, but like, no, to that, the fact that she's not, is, it bothers me, man. So you do want her to be attractive? Fred, if you're watching, like, <laughs> Fred, give me another chance, man. I don't know, like, what would that, what that do wrong? I don't know. <laughs> So so, sorry, Josh. No, what was it? Do you do you have any other icks? You know what? I, there was one that I thought of the other day, and it's left my mind now. But I remember turning around to G and being like, "This gives me the ick," and I can't think of what it is. Because we only learn what it is mm. with Freya. What are your icks? Do, we... do you guys have any icks? I, I like to treat everyone, you know, equally. <laughs> <laughs> I give everyone a chance, you know. I'm not so gonna lie. I, I think I think guys are a lot less ickless. Yeah. yeah, I feel like icks are hard to like think of the top of your head. Something just happens, and you're like, ick. Yeah, I'm I'm quite accepting, really. You know. Yeah, same. I, I yeah, I think. Sorry, <laughs> I'll change. I'll change. I think I think ours are bigger. So like, ours are bigger. Like as in, like girls find the sw- what Frey, Frey said. Right, this is what it was. Right, I remember, I remember <laughs> now. Right, Frey, both Frey and Talia, or one of them, said that if they see a guy walking down the street, right, oh, and it's windy, yeah, and their umbrella inverts. Yeah, I didn't get that. That's just an unfortunate situation. They can't control that. That's what I'm saying. I'm assuming. I that... think icks are icks do need to be like tiny little things that just like for some reason just like yeah. But but I was like imagine right imagine like this guy sees the girl so right Freya's looking at this guy in the street obviously take away Josh and their relationship right Freya looks at this guy and he's walking down it's really windy and his umbrella gets out of control it goes inverted and everything and he tries to get it back and puts it in then walks off then he sees Freya and he's like oh you know I might go and talk to her and he goes up and speaks to Freya and says oh how are you doing you want to get a drink and she's like no mm. I can't remember my they could have had a great life together. But now, yeah, he could be a perfect human. Could be, could be, yeah, could he could be not some no. kind of like Reeve could be struggling with the wind. Simon. <laughs> you gotta give him a chance. But no, but where is that? Where is us? Our, our ick would probably be like, you know, maybe you smoke or something. But oh, it's not only really ick though. It's more like I don't really like smoking. Yeah, you get me? Ah, uh, yeah. That doesn't really count as an ick. I don't think. Oh, okay. I don't know. I'm pretty like, I don't mind a lot of things. 
But if there were this, this will occur to me halfway through, I'd be like, wait a second, this is well, If you think of one, yeah, yeah, I'll just, I'll just, just blurt yeah. it out. Mm. Oh, I'm, I'm very interested in it. That's so annoying. Cause like, I literally have one the other day and I can't think what it is now. Mm. Dang. You know what? I'm going to put a story out on my Insta right now. All right. Oh, that's good. I'm going to say, what are some icks? I, need it. I don't know why I did that. What did you do then? I'm trying to take a picture of a black screen. So I put it against this. <laughs> just click create, mate. Yeah, I know, but I just find it easier to just. It only goes gray or like, I want to I get like a black create screen. Anyway, if um, you know what an. Is it ICK? Yeah. Ick is. I feel like not many people know what it is. No, I feel like lots of people know what it is. I just think you guys are boomers. <laughs> you know what? This is actually really upsetting. When, oh. I, when I had a Jaeger bomb, I realized how old I am. Because it's the first Jaeger bomb I've had in about five years. <laughs> I drank it, looked down, and I was like, everyone was just sipping, and I was like, okay. You no, I don't mind. Take your sweet time, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I went. I went home um, over that the weekend. Really well as well. To see, myself. I went to see my niece um, back at home, and I asked to my cousin, I was like, "Oh, you were 27 when you had your like first kid, right?" And she's like, "Nah, 24." I was like, "What?" I thought you were 27. So now I'm having like a weird like existential, exist, ex- existential, existential crisis. Because cool. I'm not a baby yet. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, what are the weirdest icks you've had? Yeah, yeah I'm so annoyed. I can't remember mine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll review them later. Done. All right. Story. Done. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm ready. I'm, I'm All right. Surprised. Second one. Oh. Weed being legalized in the UK. This is by C's, by the way. Thank you, C's, for the comment. Cheers, mate. Weed be, would, you, would you want le- weed to be legalized? Um, we don't need to get into the politics of it all. John, John's winking at me for some reason. Yeah, I mean, keep it on. I don't. John, why are you winking at me, bro? I don't know. <laughs> uh, no, so yeah, I'd, I'd, yeah, leave it on. I mean, yeah, it's, leave it's, it on. it's, it's had not... like great impacts in. I think in like LA, wherever it's been legalized, I think it's been like you know help the economy and stuff. So yeah, for that reason, I'll leave a light few, on. A few YouTubers that ain't been grateful in no. LA. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Um, keeping trainer boxes. Do you keep <laughs> your trainer boxes? Do you keep them? No. Not personally, but I know people that do. It doesn't bother me. Is it bad that I thought you meant elite trainer boxes? He refers to Pokemon straight away. No, no, that's, that's, <laughs> that's what I thought of. I keep those. Yeah, no, to sell my card shoe then. trainer boxes. Um, it depends if they're like special shoes. Like, you know, when you get shoes that you wear yeah. for like prom or a special occasion, you keep them in the box. That they're like, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Not like trainers. I no, if, if I've bought, bought like a, a pair of like N- NFDs, no. And NMDs. I got, I got NMDs confused with NFTs, you know? Oh, anyway. But if they're anyway. like beautiful shoes that you want to like, you know, yeah, keep so pristine, ca- yeah. keep them in the box. Calyx's shoes I've kept in the box. But like, That's just because you're emba- embarrassed about them though, isn't it? That's no. what you were saying earlier. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I did not say that, Calyx. No, I, I, I like... said the lift on the way up, actually. Some I keep. I didn't say that in the lift. What, what shoes did you wear today to, to turn up? NMDs. Well, how come you didn't wear no two ways? Because I like to keep, it was raining and I like to keep them clean. Oh, yeah. In box. It's not raining. It's really sunny it's outside. It's actually the hottest day of the year yeah. outside right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you know, it's not true. <clears throat> but yeah, leave my light on. I'll, I'll keep them sometimes. Okay. Uh, jumpers with half zip. I, yeah, keep so you know on. the ones just down to here. Oh. Wait, is that half zip? What's a half zip? Yeah, that's a half that zip. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, or like yeah, when yeah. you have a full zip and you just zip it up halfway. Or just jumpers that just it. I think, I'm not yeah. Lie, both of them, both of them like are pullover. Terrible for me. Really? I I have my has got a lot of pullovers, so I'm leaving my light on for that reason. What, a jumper half zipped? Or a hoodie half zipped? Yeah, if you've got like a top on and then a hoodie over the top, you just zip it up halfway. <laughs> that, I find that so strange. Do you, is, that no. just, is that an ick? Nah, because it's just... For guys, I think it would be weird. Oh yeah, true. I think if you saw a guy wearing a half zipped hoodie, it's kind of weird. As long as they're wearing like a shirt underneath it, obviously. Like, what if no shirt? Oh, oh yeah, no (laughs) (laughs) that's the ick. (laughs) Yeah, I've probably zipped it up halfway before, maybe like sixty percent. Give it a good go on that. Okay, drinking milk. Um, I don't drink milk. I only drink alternatives. So you know. Are you vegan? No, I just can't. Dairy like makes my eczema bad, but G is like vegetarian. Okay. So you have a vegetarian plus someone who can't eat dairy. You might as well be vegan, but I like bacon, so. I like <laughs> <laughs> Um, Right. This is a tough one for me. So I think milk, I think drinking milk is gross. Mm, I used to drink milk. When I did drink milk, I drink it. Yeah. So I, in, my, in, in my coffee, drinking in my milk cereal, spray is the grimmest thing ever. Coffee and cereal, I like to have oat milk now. Mm. Or, 
or almond or almond, almond milk. Like, yeah, that's good. However, when I was younger, I used to drink like I had like a digestive with a glass of milk. So a biscuit, with cookies and milk type thing, right? And that is really nice. You don't have to translate it for us. <laughs> we understood. You look at me like I'm some sort of weirdo oh, drinking milk and cookies. That's just his resting I'm, face. Yeah, I'm just looking at you as a weirdo in general. Yeah. See, now the thought of drinking milk makes me want to heave. Like my dad drinks something. He drinks like a really weird combination after he goes for a run. It's like milk and orange juice or something really weird for because it's like good for you after you run. And looking at that makes you want to heave. Like the thought of drinking milk now makes me feel sick. <laughs> just <laughs> slowly <laughs> turning my off. off. No, I, I don't. I think it's gross. It's not right. But occasionally with the with the biscuits, nice. I think it's a kids thing. Like, did you guys ever get drink warm milk when you were a kid? No, no. Oh, really? Yeah. No, I didn't. No, no, I didn't either. You did, didn't you? Ah. No, I had cold milk, like milkshake. Oh, I never like milkshake. <laughs> Milkshake's different. Yeah, drinking milk and a milkshake is very different. Oh, okay, yeah, do that. Okay, okay, that's what I was trying to get at. You know, yeah, that's very different. Uh, I like to dip my chips in milkshake. Oh, uh, I've never done that personally. But, but you don't hate it. No, I don't hate it. Like, that's sick. That's, I that's, feel that's, like you, 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 you putting your chips in your milkshake doesn't hurt me, you know? Go off, do your thing, True. thrive. Thank you. Laura hates it. I feel like you're accepting a lot of things. Yeah. But, but you don't do them yourself. No. I feel you're like, not hurting me by doing it. I feel like there's a, an underlying, like, you see him do it and you actually hate it, but you're just like, yeah, no, you can do that's it. Good, that's like good though. That's how everyone should be, right? Just because you it's hate it, someone else to do it. And then it oh, yeah, that's 100%. My, that's my general like, viewpoint on things. for this podcast, I want you to attack him. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's fine. Do it. Nice to meet you, by the way. <laughs> cheers, cheers, yeah, cheers. All right. <clears throat> Crocs. Oh, turn that off right now. How dare oh, you? Turn how off. Don't even try. Oh. I will leave. How dare you? What a connection there. <laughs> Crocs. Me and John just looked. Yeah, what? What would you do? I'd leave my light on. They're so good. Like, for popping out in the garden, you know, popping so out to put the bins out, oh you, you, can't be there, you can't be there lacing up. All right. So you, you, you go on a night like out, a okay? Bar. You go on a night out. You see two guys at the bar. All right. Hold on. No, what? Carry on, but hold on. You see two guys at the bar. One of them is nice clothes. Okay. Visualizing this and really putting some thought into this. And Crocs. Oh, no, no, no. The other guy, full football kit. Oh, I'd literally leave, Bob. Yeah, that's a bad club. That's a really bad club. Leave. You have to just go talk to one. But... I mean, I guess like if the person wearing Crocs, I wouldn't have to look at that. Like, I wouldn't have to. And you don't really meet someone and go like, "Hi." Nice yeah. Feet. I wouldn't have to look at their feet. Why would someone wear a Crocs to a to a club? Oh, it's a hypothetical. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I don't want to go to have that. But are Crocs like stylish now? Are they like? Because I, I imagine like Crocs yes. with like holes in. Do they have like cool ones that actually look like you know? Yeah, you get little like or something. You get little toys, buttons in them, and stuff so no well. is the answer. To that no, I, I, will, I, that line back I will. I will go me. get some Crocs that are that Please are cool. Don't. Are they first one ones? Yeah. If you Why can you find some cool Crocs, I. Well, you're not gonna like them. I don't think. I don't think. But they're, they're, I don't think they're that impressive. <gasps> Post Malone release limited. Oh, I Post Malone done it. That's cool. Like, <laughs> Wait, I, wouldn't, Wait, I can't tell. Serious. My interest is peaked. Okay, see, I'll go All get right. them. Yeah, get them then. Get them. Why are you so hate? Why are you well, because they're just yellow with like, oh. like Post Malone like icons on them, like barbed like wire. Why Crocs of all the shoes? Like... No, because like you don't have to lace them up. So when you go to the when you go to like the garden and put, to put some rubbish out, it's very comfortable. No, slippers. Do you wear slippers? <laughs> Yes, yeah, so it's Sometimes, like it's like rubbery, rubbery, <coughs> rubbery slippers. Also, thank you for putting some socks on, Simon. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I literally, I, I said it to John before. I was like, I'm gonna have to wear socks today, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> I wore socks last week as well. He did. I don't care if you wear socks or not. First, thanks, bro. Yes, yeah, right. I'm not gonna lie. As I picked the croc up, I realized there's no hope in you liking this. If you don't like Crocs, you're not gonna like it. That physically makes you feel sick. Like, <laughs> <laughs> if I saw someone wearing those shoes. I, I, mm. These are limited edition. Look, they got cool things there. Uh, how much are they? If you don't mind me asking. I think they were like $800. What? You, know what? you can get like <laughs> Apple shoes and you're buying freaking Corolla. No, you're joking. I can't remember. Yeah, you, they, they can't be, they can't be right. Yeah, Google it. They can't be $800. That's no. Well, I think they were resale. I think like regular Crocs are better. What do you mean? These are regular crocs. Which is... Oh no, we've got barbed wire all over it. Just because it's Post Malone, I mean, it's cool. <laughs> On StockX, they're £447. Do you know how many Jaeger bombs you could get with that? <laughs> <laughs> Depends. With London, that money, London or I could drink enough Jaeger bombs to think that those crocs are. So you had a Jaeger bomb at home? I've never had a Jaeger bomb at home. I've never had a handmade one. I actually watched the TikTok today that said anyone who drinks Jaeger at home is a psychopath. Yeah, I agree with that now. 
Why would you do that at home? And Wicked. And Wicked. Oh, I'm not. I'm no, no, no. WKD, I completely understand. You know, no, I'm, a, I'm a gin and lemonade girl. Well, why, did you, why are you drinking lemonade? I was drinking then? gin and lemonade. Uh, yeah. Okay. But, like, if I fancy a Jager bomb, I fancy a Jager bomb, you know? Yeah, like, I mean, you can you have can't... one. I'm not going to stop for you, but it's a bit weird to have it at home. That's all. Sorry. Uh, Sorry, Roddy. <laughs> no, after I hope you have, like, I'll a whiskey that. or, like, a gin. <laughs> you can have a gin. You can have a gin, then, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for allowing But they, they actually are ranked, to be fair. So, um, what, Jager? Oh, no. no they're, they're <laughs> I feel like these have been attacked for no Yeah, I kind of, like, want to, I kind of want to burn it. Like, I have an overwhelming urge right now to burn it. But you have, like, you have two modes as well. You have, like, chill mode. <laughs> You're just not helping yourself right now. You have, you have sport mode. <laughs> That is true because they come off if you run around with them. Yeah. If you have it like that and you wear them, they're like slippers. So then if you need to, you know, like get anywhere fast. Get me out of here, please. No, I, I take it back. I, do, I think as a collector's item, I'd like them, but I wouldn't really like walking to go and put the bins out. A collector's item? Who's putting Crocs into like a glass like box for like viewing? Simon. I had to get these out of the box. <laughs> got a huge frame in my room just yeah, for Crocs. Yeah. It's got a post Malone shrine. You know, it was actually a test uh, to see how much you hated Calfrizi's entire brand. I don't. His entire brand is Crocs. Crocs World and Crocs. and So um, maybe don't meet him anytime soon. Yeah, so what's the next one? Okay. <laughs> uh, the yeah, next, true, one next one is... Uh, where is it? Uh, Valentine's Day. I know what you're gonna do. Where's the shocking thing? Down there. Why is it falling down again? Forward. Are you alright? Oh, it's so. I mean, it's cute. I've never had like a Valentine's Day. Off. So. <laughs> Sorry for I feel like people have been in long term relationships always yeah. say no. Yeah. You, you'll say no. I've always said no. Yeah. Yeah, you, you and Tyler are not like that kind of hey, couple. Though, I'm like, very romantic. It's probably not on. With your no, crocs, right? It's not like Valentine's Day. I thought she would. Yeah, she does. Yeah. That's just the issue. And okay. <laughs> she doesn't mind it. She's not yeah, like yeah. huge. I just think every day should be Valentine's Day if you're in a relationship. Tali Ma actually bought me some uh, Crocs. Just seen there. How much for? Talk. <laughs> uh, they, were, they were quite cheap ones. Regular price. Basically, uh, we had a bet. And if she lost, if I lost, I had to like, I can't remember, I had to buy her something. And if she lost, she had to buy me Crocs. And she was never allowed to say that she didn't like them either. <sighs> What was the what was the what was the vet? I can't remember. I can't wrap my head around this. I actually can't wrap my head around actually thinking that that is a viable piece of fashion. <laughs> <laughs> like what? To be fair, like it's it. not. What do you mean? Well, you, you can't know. Right, yellow, yellow shoes are a bit of a miss anyway, aren't they? I get it for like the going out and taking the rubbish. Like I guess okay, but like yeah, I feel personally attacked. Would you go to like Vegas with those shoes on? If I could get into clubs with them, I would wear them. But I know that they are not viable shoes to get into <clears> most <throat> places. All right. Uh, penultimate one. Mm -hmm. Tattoos. Hold on. Penultimate one. That, that's, we've done like three. Do you know what penultimate means? Yeah. The, the one that's about to be near the end. Yeah. Like, we've, we've done more than three. No, we haven't. There's meant to be ten. We've done one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven. Okay, this is number eight, not number nine. No, it is not. It is. Right, read them out. Sorry, read them out. Not Bro, it ain't that deep, man. <laughs> you know, it ain't that deep. <laughs> read them, read them. If you want me to do more, just say, can you do a couple more? Yeah, can you do a couple more after this? Oh, right, sure. <laughs> thanks, thanks, thanks. Yeah, I like tattoos. Do you have any tattoos? No, but I want to get one. What are you going to get? Okay, if, you, if you can I say. I want to get like a cherry blossom on my rib. I know rib rib for your first one pain. Oh, I'm good with pain. Though, I just so. thought that. Yeah, might yeah, hurt. I'm good with pain though. Might I hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, do you, do you have tattoos? Or are you? No, I don't have any tattoos. Yeah, I got a few. Oh, it's See, I, I go with a really strict mum, so tattoos right now. Even now. So how like, would you get it and then show her? Just don't tell her. Oh, see, I'm no, I'm not in Brighton anymore. Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, I, I talked to her, to her recently, and she was like, okay, I guess. But I'm like, too fair, you can't really tell me that I can't now. No, too late, mum. Do you want like multiple tattoos mm. or is it? I feel like I'm going to get one and then be like, oh, I don't want to be covered, but I want like... How about a face, I'm, I'm ta face tattoo? Yeah, no? I'm going to get like a teardrop, right? Yeah. Why does everyone say that in this podcast? <laughs> what? We spoke about teardrop before. Do you know what teardrop means? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it depends okay. on yeah, side. why people say it. Well, it depends on side. Yeah. One side is people you killed. One is for your like fallen friends. Friends. Okay, so it's not very cool, is it? So if you kill your mate, you have to get one on each side. Oh, uh, it's, it's metrical though. 
<laughs> True. That's a bit psycho though. Then you can make, you can make like <laughs> a... Symmetrical though. Bang, bang. Jinx, Jinx, bang. Yeah, girl, you can make home. like a TikTok. Symmetrical. You know them symmetrical TikToks? It would work. Yeah, yeah, it would. Yeah, yeah. Wait, Tali actually showed me one of them. There's a, there's a, a girl who's got tattoos loads everywhere yeah. and she's so symmetrical like <gasps> oh yeah i've seen that aesthetic. yeah so she literally just keeps flipping it and the tattoos are symmetrical as well Man, see i think tattoos are really cool but i'm really indecisive i think that's another reason why i haven't gotten one i'd get something tattooed and the next day be like yeah you um, got you got to make sure you're like really ready like for it, it. Yeah. that's why i said i'd draw it on every day for like two months um, mm, see if you get sick of it yeah but you're not really gonna draw it in I get someone else. Oh, henna. It's a stick okay, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, every day, for like a month. <laughs> you know the S that you draw as a kid? <laughs> the Superman S, yeah. Your forehead. Oh, that was a but I like S. tattoos. I think tattoos are sick. Yeah, I'll leave my light on as well. Why not? Okay. Uh, whiskey. Ooh. I don't. I hate no, whiskey. I'm not turning it off. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. I hate whiskey. Lexi said no. All right, Lexi turned it off. I've whacked it wait, on though. <laughs> wait, Fireball, is that fireball. cinnamon That's, whiskey? Yeah. yeah, I like I like Fireball. Oh, you've combined two horrible things: whiskey and cinnamon. I love cinnamon, <laughs> but I hate right. whiskey. I hate whiskey. Why? Whisky. It's just disgusting. I don't think my taste buds have matured why? to that level. If someone doesn't like the taste of something. <laughs> you know, know what? I'm accepting this entire podcast and all Isn't you've it? done. If you don't like, me. if you don't like the, if you don't like whiskey, you can assume why someone doesn't like it. All right. <laughs> That's fine. Whereas Crocs, I can't understand yeah. that. <laughs> Crocs, I just can't understand. I like whiskey. But okay. Fireball's mine. Fireball's mine. Is this the, the last one now? It's, according to you, it's the last one. Because you said you said the last one was number eight, but I'd love to know what we've actually been through. Okay. Um, oh, trying to find the best one. These are... We'll go, we'll go theme parks. We'll go theme parks. Oh, yeah, I love yeah, theme parks. Yeah, I'll leave it on. I love yeah. theme parks. Your, I really what, want to go. What's your, wait, what, what, you've never been? No, I really want to go. I love them, but I've never been. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which ones have you been to before? I've been to pretty, like all of them. Like, the whole I've never been to one My favourite one is... Um, yeah. Never been told. No, Although I think it's I the best have. one. It's the best one. No, I don't know if I have. No, do you know the best thing I've ever been to? Europa Park in Germany. Ooh. I would organise a holiday to Germany just to go there. They have like the tallest roller coaster in the world. Oh, it's actually amazing. I love it. I want to organize a trip to Alton Towers. Yeah, I'm down to go with you. I've never, if you invite yeah. me. Wait, is Alton Towers the one with the vamp? No, that's Chessington. Alton Towers. Maybe I haven't air. been to Alton Towers. Right? Air Nemesis. I think I've I been. I feel like I... Oblivion. I thought the, the one with the vampire ride, that's Chessington, right? Couldn't tell you. I mean, Chessington. Everything you're saying sounds like I've been there. Yeah, it, that, I, don't I don't know, know if that's just like, because they all just sound like roller coaster names that I've been on. Yeah. Thought Park is the best one though. But I don't think I've been to Alton Towers Park. Actually. Thought Park I've been to just I think too many times. I've been there once. I need to go somewhere else. I really wanna I really wanna go soon, but it's just hard as hell with everything going on. And getting everyone together and stuff is just pain. Yeah. I was gonna try and organise a trip. I was gonna when? just put it in all the discords and be like, who wants to go? Yeah, that's something I've learned moving to London, how even though everyone's so close together, it's so hard to organise stuff. Yep. <laughs> yep. So <laughs> yeah. Hard. yeah. Yeah, it didn't really make sense. Um when all the girls went to Disney land at the time, no one liked to go on ride, did they? No, so this was the boxing trip. Yeah. So when we went to watch JJ Logan, okay. um, we was were filming a video. Tali's birthday, wasn't it? It was Tali's birthday. Mm. So I organized, it was, who was it? It was her, Laura. Freya. There was, there was like, I don't want to, I don't want to name them in case I forget them. There, there was about <laughs> five, there was about five of them. Uh, and they all went to, I organized them to go to a theme park for the day. And they went, and basically none of the girls wanted to go on the big rides. Except Laura and Talia. Yeah, See, but they, but they, they, they didn't know each other. They didn't know that each other wanted to go on the rides. Yeah, so oh, it got sucks. to the end of the day and they were kind of like, oh, I wish we went on this. And then the other went, oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> did, Why didn't we say this? Did you ever go on like school trips to like theme parks? Mm. Yeah, did you ever get like, you, you, you'd get like put with a group and then be one person that wouldn't want to go on a roller coaster oh. and you're like, is there a theme park called Flamingo Land? I don't think it's a theme park. Isn't it like a zoo? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Like, I think I went to Flamingo Land for a school trip. Oh, <laughs> uh, and you know the trains that go around, like, like transport you? Yeah. They're, 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 they're not trains, they're like, like little trains. It says a roller coaster. No, and, I go, <laughs> and I go Southern <laughs> Rail and I'm like, Whoa! No, it's just like a people mover, really. And my mate, my mate was running across and he fell over on the train track. And it wasn't dramatic at all, but we were like laughing all day because we were like, oh, imagine if a train comes now. But the train is literally so slow. <laughs> <laughs> we never let him forget it. Oh, what a fun time school was. But I think I've been on towers. As a start, as a, going back to that, I think I've been on towers. I, yeah. I feel like I have because you got one of those Merlin passes. Well, then yeah, I feel like I would have. Yeah, oh, it's close to me. Well, I did it on GeoGuessr. 
I played in, I was in Alston Towers on GeoGuessr. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I recognize this, but I've never been. Maybe you went when you were young with your mom. Yeah. Why did that sound like an insult? <laughs> your mom. Isn't it? <laughs> Maybe you went with your mom. <laughs> Maybe you did. Why? Yeah. why? Um, because maybe you're young and you can't remember. I don't know. I need to ask my brother at some point. Mm. Yeah. But yes, theme park trip. Oh, yeah, I'm down. I'm down. I'm there. Okay. I'm going to organize that. Yeah. Anyways, that is the end of the what's good questions, even though there was only three. Yeah, you know. Nah, actually, uh, I, I, I can't do two. I can't do two. I had to do seven. Yeah, to be fair, I didn't think we'd gone through as many as we had. I think we talked about each one so in depth. Maybe. I still feel sick about the Crocs and the, the football uniform. Are you going to make me actually yeah, count you, how many we've James done? Silver will let me know. You're going to... Okay. Football tops. Mm -hmm. Weed. Uh, trainer boxes. Half zip. Plain milk. Uh, Crocs. Valentine's Day. Theme parks. Do there's more. Uh, whiskey. Tattoos. That might have been it. That's 10. That's oh, nice. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, well, what it, now? Was, it was a good list then because I, you know, it flew by. Yeah, time flies and you're having fun. Yeah. Okay, well, let's talk more about you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, what's goes over now? It's yeah. nice. <laughs> <laughs> the fun bit. I'm now drag now. Um, yeah, so you used to, well, you still do. You still do reactions and yeah. stuff. Reactions, dancing, streaming. Yeah. Am I missing anything? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. But they do all like revolve around your interest of K-pop, right? For the most part, yeah. Streaming, not so much, but for the okay, most yeah, part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I guess there's no really, yeah. Anyway, why don't, before we start, why don't you like give me and Simon a rundown on K-pop or sell it if you had to, If you had to sell K-pop in 30 seconds to a dummy. And we hate Ooh, it. Oh, okay. We don't, but imagine we do. Okay. It's basically just like pop music in a different language, but it's more performance based. There's more like stage presence to it, as choreographies, there's a whole culture behind it. It's really interesting, I think. I, I really enjoy showing it to people as well. I don't know if that really sold it. Fair enough. I have been told yeah. to ask you about Lisa. Oh God. I'm the other <laughs> Basically, there's someone called Lisa in Blackpink. Mm -hmm. And I watch a lot of anime. One of the songs in an anime is by someone called Lisa. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I was there like, oh, I've, I've like, I'm obsessed with this song. It's by Lisa. And she was like, oh my God, oh my God, you like Lisa? I was like, yeah, like she's sick, blah, blah, blah. And then G looked it up and it turns out it's a completely different Lisa. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's even K-pop. But yeah, probably not that, they all laughed at me for a while. And I was like, well, it was an honest mistake. I don't think it was even your mistake. Thank you. It sounded like, no offense to G, it sounded like G got excited for you. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. It's your fault, G. Yeah, G. Thanks. Uh, anyway. No, no, no. <laughs> and there's like, please let me back in the house tonight. <laughs> no, so I do like... I do get I do get it a bit mm. because it is like like it is like pop like a turbo. Yeah, it's cool. like the, the, the videos like way more like extravagant. The shows are more extravagant. Different genres too as well. You know? Yeah, but obviously the big big barrier to it is that it is in a different language. Yeah, I get that a lot. Like my brother loves it, and I show my friends it for like videos mm. and stuff. And they're like, we love this, but if it was in English, I'd listen to it all the time. I yeah. get it though. Like I I do understand it. Do you speak any Korean? I was learning. And then I got lazy, so no. Yeah. <laughs> but I'd like to. I was going to go to uni over that to learn, but... Mm. It's, hard, it's hard to learn. I can yeah. read it. I can like, read oh. it and stuff. And Wait, you were going to go to uni to learn Korean? In Korea, yeah. Ooh. In Korea? Yeah, you can do like, in, like Korean course over there. It's really intense though. I just hey, eat a lot well, of food. Well, I've got a fun fact for you. I love fun it's facts. A, it's a Korean fact. There you go. It's going to be a fun fact. So in Korea, South Korea, <laughs> Here we go. right? You can be one second old and also be two years old at yeah. the same time. That's their, their age system's really strange. What? So like once you're born, when you're born, your class is a year old. Yeah. But so then at the beginning of every year, you're a year old or two. Yeah. So January 1st, every year, they everyone ages, ages up. Yeah. So that, that the clubs outside will be like packed because it'll be all the people that just turned legal at the beginning of the year. Because everyone's a year older, they'd all go out clubbing. And, and, and so do new. you have a birthday? Yeah, you have yeah. your birthday, so like... But remember, you celebrate your birthday. When we celebrate our birthday, we, we count the number, but in, in, in a way, you're just celebrating the day you were born. Mm. So you can, still, you can still celebrate the day you were born, as well as be, you know, 30. Can't have two birthdays. No, 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 no. You, mm. I don't understand it, but I know that they class you as a year old once you're born. So you're, you're a yeah. year older already, and then in the new year, you kind of go up again. Yeah, so pretty much if you're born one... So oh, I'd be 29. Yeah, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so if, you, if you're born, Jan, uh, December the 20... 
sorry, if you were born December, December the 31st at 11.59, 59 seconds, you'd be two, two when you turn two seconds old. Weird, I know. Two years that old. That is weird. Yeah, man. I don't like it. So but then, yeah, then you get to kindergarten, you're like, yo, what's up, blood? <laughs> <laughs> Which is why they ask you like what year you're born rather than how old you are. If yeah, you it's, it's, it's about how many years you've lived in rather than how many years you've lived. So their bouncers must have an easy time. Yeah. yeah or, or, and also, if you want a fake ID, very easy. Just one number, innit? Yeah, January. Ooh. First. What? Yeah. No, you don't fake that number. You fake, <laughs> you fake the year. <laughs> Why are you faking the. What? Yeah, we'll, we'll edit it out. No, we won't. <laughs> no, we won't. Oh, uh, no, we won't. Podcast. Okay, so you, so you didn't end up going uni. No. Which makes me the smartest person in the room. Your, That's your uni didn't count. Your concerning. uni didn't count. Oh. <laughs> it didn't really. Yeah, I dropped out like two weeks before I was supposed to go. I mean, oh, I, so went, you, I went for two months. It doesn't. Like. My dad was like, do you want to go for freshers and then drop out? And I was like, kind of here for that. Yeah, you should have done that. <laughs> you should have done that. Yeah. Go all the way to Plymouth. Or... You chose it. Right, I take it back. I'm not the smartest person in the room. I don't know where Plymouth is. You don't? <laughs> no. Have a guess. Uh, Southwest. Yeah. Yeah. That, it, like, just, it sounds like a southern. Like, it, yeah. It's, it's sounds like a tratter. It sounds like a rock. I'm yeah. going to go to university. You know, I'm a tratter. You can't do accents, by the way. Yeah, I kind of like that. I don't want to do accents. Do, do scouts. You will, um, I'm going to play. You, you, have, <laughs> hold on, hold on. You, you of course, um, I'm Stephen Gerrard. Do, do Welsh. Uh, oh, crap. That's not Welsh. I was going to do a video for Chip Fat today. Oh. I have to, I have to ask him later. Um, <laughs> that was so rude. Uh, okay, Welsh. Do you know when we did Welsh accents that the, the line we don't have to is, John, can you pass the orange crayon? That's a good one. Yeah, John, can you pass the orange crayon? <laughs> <laughs> Gavin, I don't want to go to Barry. <laughs> what about Australia? No, Australia's my favourite accent. Oh, I'll get that one. Good day, mate. I want to go and put a shrimp on the barbecue. <laughs> I'm listening to the World School Podcast with my my guy, Mini Mintan Randolph. No, don't, don't act like John, that. John, you, even... you spent a year in Australia. How am I doing on the accent front? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, uh, for those who uh, can't hear John, he said amazing. That's why everyone no, he definitely didn't. Um, okay, don't know how we got here, but so you, <laughs> so you just, hold on, hold on. No, we've got we've got our stories mixed up here. So you said you were going to go and study Korean in Korea. That, that was recently, like last year. I was like, well, maybe I'll do that. So what were you going to go study at uni? Acting. Okay. You assumed it's Korean in Plymouth. No, I, I, don't I know. honestly, I, know, yeah. I didn't assume anything. I don't think so Plymouth, I'm in a constant state of just existential crisis. So I just constantly change what I want to do. Fair enough. <laughs> so, how, so you've been streaming for? Just over a year. So when you were going to go to uni, it was before you started Yeah, streaming. I didn't even know what Twitch was when I was going to go to uni. Because okay. that was before I met G as well. I met G during that time. Mm. Wait, so you've how long have you known G? Two years in September. Mad. And did you meet G through your interest of Korean pop? Yeah, we met her at a concert. Well, the first time I actually properly met her was in her house the day before our flight to Thailand. So. Oh, oh but we, wait, what? <laughs> you, but you met at a concert? But yeah, we were in a, we were in the same, so such a weird story. Got you, got we you, were in the you. same Twitter group chat. Mm, okay. And I didn't really know her. And then I saw her outside the queue and I knew the girl she was with. So I gave the girl a hug and I was like, okay, I guess I've got to give you a hug out. Like, you know, it's yeah, a bit yeah, awkward if I don't. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah. Okay. So that, that's definitely a G type of thing, isn't it? To be in a mm. group chat with someone and then end up living with them like a year later. But it was completely was random saying. though. Cause like I, neither of us really used Twitter. She wasn't a group chat person. I mm. wasn't. I just, we just both liked this random tweet and people kind of grouped us together cause I did YouTube and she did Twitch. Yeah, they were like, fair, oh, they both fair. do like. Yeah, social Internet media and that. Mad. Mm. So you've known G a year and a half. A year and three quarters. Now live with her. Yeah, it's weird. So you didn't get her into K-pop. No, I think she was into it. She was before, into it. Yeah. You've both got Talia into K-pop. Yeah. Sadly. Yeah. We're working on Freya. We're working on Freya. <laughs> Freya might be a hard sell, do you reckon? Freya's no, definitely... she's getting into it now. We put it on the other day and she was like, I don't actually mind it. So we're getting there. How many Jaeger bombs was she down? <laughs> <laughs> Surely about 30. To be honest. 30 <laughs> Jaeger bombs are like K-pop. <laughs> yeah, 30 Jaeger bombs from 50 wickets. <laughs> I mean, for every like, the K-pop I've heard, I've, I've not minded. But as you <sighs> said, it is a thing of, I don't understand what they're saying. Yeah, it's like if you if you don't like the concept, then there's just like it's like listening to an instrumental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen the music, the music videos? Yeah, they're ridiculously it's good. Insane. Yeah, they're yeah. insane. But that must be just like money into it. Just, I think didn't I heard something on Explained on a Netflix show? Like, didn't South Korea? Isn't it like um, 
like a government. Yeah, it's like a government thing. thing. Then they, they, they yeah, the government funded yeah. it to like, in, in, increase like tourism and because it is, it's just like a massive. It's massively like produced for that reason. It's yeah, completely yeah. manufactured to so, be yeah. like marketable. So they get the best, the best, the best producers, the best songwriters, yeah. and then put it together. I do like it when you in in Korean songs when it's English though. That's kind of yeah. Cool. They do. Yeah. Lots, that's really big at the moment. Our English versions. Of songs. Yeah, yeah. But Blackpink, obviously BTS are the big, uh, are the biggest still. Yeah. But they're big, big, aren't they? Like, they're big, big. Like they'll, they'll do a tweet and an hour later, like 600,000 oh, likes. Yeah. They copied the name of Con, though. Yeah. <laughs> Constantine BTS. But Con lost it because Con changed it. That's so true. He should have yeah, stuck to his he, ground. Yeah. yeah, he should have, should have big balled it. Yeah, so, who would you tell us to listen to if we have to listen to someone? I always say Blackpink is always a big one. Uh, my favorite group is Stray Kids. That's why I met you. They're really good. Stray Kids. Stray Kids. Okay. They're We're so old. So old. <laughs> but also, like, it depends, <laughs> the though. New ones. <laughs> <laughs> what are the kids listening to these days? It depends because you said you like like more rap music, don't you? Yeah. So I, I'd recommend like KRMB instead. KRMB, Korean R&B. Yeah. I don't. Even, <laughs> oh wait, that's that's not the, no, yeah, that's. <laughs> a, I was gonna say that's not the name of a group. That's yeah. <laughs> I thought that was you the, say that as yeah. I was like, oh, so yeah, okay. that name's so not creative. They just had R and B put K in front of it. But it's kind of like telling, like telling someone who you know won't like K-pop to listen to K-pop. It's like telling someone that you know is into rock music to listen to like yeah. Taylor Swift. It's just like they're not gonna like it. So there's no point in like. I, I'm quite, I'm quite um open to. I'm quite open with music. I feel though. like yeah, I, I, I well. listen to everything. If I like it, I like it. I don't really, you know, mind what it is. Yeah, cause I, I go through phases where I don't listen to K-pop at all, and then sometimes it's just like what I listen right, to. So what's what's like. Because I always say I listen to everything kind of thing. But what do you actually listen to? Like if you were choosing a playlist. At the moment, at the moment, all I've listened to is Chase Atlantic. I don't know if you've heard Chase Atlantic. They're really good. That's not Korean, is it? No, no, no. no they're, they're Western. <laughs> but like, but like, I, because I grew I've up. I've heard that before. <laughs> they're you really don't, good. Don't lie to seem no, I've, cool, I've bro. That, I've heard that before, yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, what's your favorite song by them? I don't know what the song they sing, but I've heard the name Chase Atlantic. Yeah? Yeah. You're not thinking of chasing status or something. No, like. no, 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 no. I've heard of the name. Like, but the thing is that I, I I grew up was my mom loves like rock music and band music, yeah. so I grew up listening to like Foo Fighters, Red Hot Chili Peppers, <sighs> like Coldplay. I love Coldplay, not rock band, but like band music, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, okay. My brother liked rock, heavy metal, so, like Paramore, Slipknot, Evanescence, all that kind of stuff. My dad likes Adele. I just I Adele's stopped, cool. Stop listening after you said you like Coldplay. I, what? Yeah. I have a Coldplay candle. They, 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 they do have bangers though, the old bangers. They have like one banger. No, they Paradise. <gasps> That's it. Oh, you disgust me. That's First the, the Crocs, one. now theirs. You can't, you can't say that their, their best song is Paradise. Though. You actually can't What's say that. What's their best song? That. Yellow. It name is Yellow. No. That's me when I look at Crocs. <laughs> like literally, it's literally yellow. Is <laughs> it's literally yellow. Yeah, I, I spent a whole uh, a whole week once making a Coldplay Paradise. So YouTube invited me to do it. YouTube inv asked me to do a cover, and I was going to go into Name a competition. Drop. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I, I know YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, literally the day I went to upload it, um, and I had to click the forms that I accept. It's like, are you eighteen? And I was like, no. So I spent uh, like a whole week doing it, and I wasn't allowed to upload it. Oh, so sorry. You, you still lie? have it. Oh yeah, yeah. I should have lied. I do have it. Yeah, probably somewhere. That's a video. Yeah, you should post that. Yeah, uh. I'll post that. Then. So what is it? Is it like a remix? Yeah, a remix of Paradise. Yeah, me making Paradise. That's sick. Damn. Mm. How is old were you when you made it? Pardon? How old were you when you made it? Well, less than eighteen. Well, yeah. <laughs> so like, sixteen, seventeen, whatever. It, it was like when it came out. It's like a promotion between YouTube and and Coldplay. So. <sighs> Well, apart from Coldplay, I listened to all of the people you just said. Yeah, that, like rap music, Kendrick Lamar. Like, I, I love Post Malone. Malone. I like The Weeknd. Like, literally everything. Simon's got some Post Malone crux. <laughs> 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 um, does anyone, right? And so, K pop's really big now, and especially yeah. big over here. Do people make K pop who aren't Korean? I know, I mean, I, I, not, it might be a stupid question. Would that be like culture? inappropriate mm, that no Could that be. there are there's, there's been a big thing at the moment of uk k-pop and do they speak so they speak korean is it called the uk pop? <laughs> it should be it should, it should be. be um yeah and also a lot of the producers for k-pop songs are white mm. like westerners um but yeah there's like a, a couple uk have you heard of ollie london I was waiting for that. Like you looked at us like as you, if we were gonna. I was gonna say because I, I, like there are a lot of YouTubers yeah. about Ollie London because he's a bit controversial. But there's people like Ollie London. No, nah, I don't know Ollie London. Yeah, you, lucky, lucky. You. I know Morgs. It's <laughs> <laughs> good, man. It's good. But yeah, to answer your question, yeah, though, Jake yeah. Mitchell. Yeah, I know him. Okay, what's your name in like young, younger like YouTubers? Jake Mitchell ain't even younger anymore. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. Your name is someone that's. <laughs> oh no, Brian's toy review. <laughs> Oh yeah, now you name someone. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the 
there's someone who's like a K-pop singer, I hope, that played in like Among Us lobbies or something. Jay from Day6. I think I played with them. Yeah, I know. I freaked out a little. Like I, I, I went, I got home and I, I went onto Talia's stream because day six, they were the last concert I went to. They were the last live concert okay. I went to. And I got onto Talia's stream and I was like, oh, who's she playing with? And then I saw Jay and I was like, whoa. Wow. It was really surreal. I was like, this world's colliding. So whose lobby was that in? I don't know. I just remember playing once and G was like, oh yeah, you played with this person. I was like, cool. Yeah, day six is sick. Uh, boy band? They're like a proper band. Are there any, are there any like mixed gender groups in K-pop? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There are a couple, but they're really weird about that. But there are a couple that are really mm-hmm. good. Like, card. Let's group card. Card. Really good. Okay. Oh, card. We have to look them up after this. Yeah. Yeah. We should do a video. We should. We should do a video with you reacting to. That'd be K- sick. Randolph and Simon reacts to K-pop for the first time. I'm down. Have you done it yet? What? I'm surprised you're not done like a reaction to reaction to K-pop. No. I find it interesting. I find it so interesting seeing like what people think of it. Milk Marshall messaged me and was like, "If there's any K-pop things that like you think will pop off, <laughs> you let me know." And I was like, "Oh god, okay." Uh. Side memory acts. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be into that. <laughs> it's actually just for him. It was actually oh, okay. just for yeah, him. just for him at home. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just wants to find. But it's like a, it's a cultural phenomenon. So yeah. So when, when did you first get into it? 2014, 13, 2013. That was re- is, that, is that early? Mm, before it became mainstream over here. Yeah. But. Okay. Okay. It's like the crypto donnies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 2013, 2014, you know. Mm. Okay. Um, well, now you're streaming. Yeah. You've moved a bit away from reactions mm. as much. Is that something you'd like plan to go back to? Yeah. I mean, at the point we have no internet, so doing anything is difficult. Yep. But um, I think eventually it's just hard to do like YouTube and streaming when streaming's your main job because if I'm deadly honest, I make no money from YouTube because of copyright being a little bitch so like streaming is my job i need to prioritize that and then if i am able to also balance youtube on the other side then that's sick but mm. streaming's a priority for sure have you thought about reacting on stream dmca will literally kick down my front door <laughs> that's a good point <laughs> just, could you react to like k-pop uh, like videos that aren't music, if that makes sense. So like, uh, it, it, does that end, does any, do any of them vlog? Yeah, some people do that though. So you like some people, vlogs. Yeah, like some reactors, I say milk it, like, like will react to anything they do. Like people react to photos. Like, you know, before people release music, they'll do like a photo, like a poster. Yeah. They'll react to the, the photo for a five minute video. Sounds right, that down. <laughs> so, react to photos. <laughs> <laughs> react to and photo. they bang, the videos bang because people yeah, love to yeah. see it. It's so crazy. Yeah. Yeah, you should do it. You should do it. Yeah, so because you, you're like, okay, I'm literally posting. Like the, the, the concept of reaction videos baffles me anyway because you're literally just posting you watching something and it'll blow yeah, people up. People love it though. Yeah, people. It baffles me. Yeah, I watch them. Yeah, yeah, literally. yeah. I'm more likely to click something that's someone reacting to it than now yeah. an original video. Mm-hmm. I know it's bad, but that's just what we what we want to want to watch. Yeah, so weird. Yeah, but I, it does. It still helps the original things. Yeah, it's still it word of mouth. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless the person's literally going, "This is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> do yeah, not yeah. watch this." <laughs> Did you see the recent Bella Porch? Poach? Porch. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know that. I don't know that is. Boomer! I saw I saw you have it. I saw it's on. That's that's Talia Spotify. No, oh, well, Talia has Bella taste. Porch. That's Bella. actually really good. You know the girl that goes you. on TikTok? I've really generalized her there to something the... so small. <laughs> there you go. No? Okay. Well, she <laughs> trying. I'm trying. Have you had a TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> I've got TikTok. I like I like TikTok. She was the she was the M to the B that blew up, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know that M to the B, M to the B. Yeah. The the first like the one that blew up, the girl that like kind of just like red cheeks. Just the, that. But yeah, she's oh, like, I know her. Yeah. That's, that's better for so She's yeah. made a she's right. made a song right. uh, that's been huge on TikTok for time. Why are you phoning me? No one phones me. Me. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, she's made a song that's been huge on TikTok. Right. She's huge on TikTok. Yeah, and she released a video three days ago. That was when I checked yesterday. It was on thirty-five million views. Yeah, it's got some big names. She got like Valkyrie and stuff in it. Valkyrie, Mia Khalifa, and some Donnies that I. That's yeah. That was the other name I recognized. Who's that? <laughs> Bretman. The YouTuber. Bretman Rock. That was the only name I recognized. <laughs> oh God, bro! I'm... If you're gonna. Do you know who they are? Make it convinced. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. yeah, Bretman Rock. Oh, yeah, B Dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. B Dog. Yeah. We, we go yeah. way back. But yeah, uh, that song has like blown up massively. I can't remember why we were talking about it. I think you just went, yeah, anyone yeah, had a better we... porch. 
<laughs> just out of nowhere. Just goes quickly. You must have had some sort of like brainwave. There was, and I can't remember what it is now. Did, did, did the reaction bang? It did. It banged. But I don't think that was why. But we'll move on. Um, <laughs> That's as you flexed, you know. <laughs> did, you get, did you get claimed? Yes. But claims are yeah. such a little bit. Instantly. Oh, well, like, well, they I actually block cool. everything as well. Yeah. But there's a way to get around blocking. That trick. Yeah. Should we bring it up or we're not allowed to? Uh, the trade. This is to help everyone out there. When I said not allowed, I, 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 I don't want it to be like one of those things where you say it and then now it's not a thing anymore. Oh, yeah, true. It. I'll explain it really quickly so hopefully no one understands. Okay, yeah, well, speed run it. And I'll freestyle over it as well. If you basically just do 15 <laughs> seconds and then you have a break in some water, some music, and some point, you get lost and you just get flamed. That'll be it. Yeah. Hopefully no one heard that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, you're a dancer. And obviously TikTok's blown up and dancing on TikTok. How do you feel about that? Because none of them use their legs. True. Oh my God. <laughs> do what? G is always on my back because I can't do TikToks. Okay. Considering it's kind of my generation. I can't. I, I just, just not my thing. It doesn't it's come such naturally a boomer. to me. Yeah. Oh, you should. I, th- I think the first thing I saw of you was dancing. Yeah. See, that's what G's like. G's like, it, it, it's so easy for you. And I'm just like, oh, I don't know. The thing is though, they're not like. It's not really dance. That's what I mean. It's like. But like I watch, I watch like dancers on YouTube and I haven't seen any of them on TikTok because it's not, not you know, like, yeah, it's not. It's kind of like a this. genre of dance, you know, like TikTok. It dances. has, yeah. Like, you know, when you see like uh, Charlie D'Amelio or is it? Um, you know, a video of Edison Ray where she's on the yeah. Late Late Show and she's just like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's really bad. And, and I think they put like, they put a video of, of the actual creator of the dancers next to her mm. and she was like, so like slow and they were just way better at doing it. Dancing, yeah. So. But it is a good way to like get like, it's fun. it's fun. Yeah, and it's fun. That's but how how do you feel about too. the how do you feel about the dances? I mean, they're not bad. They don't bother me. I don't see it, and I'm like, but you know, it's just not. Do you think you're gonna go to a club soon? And oh. have to be hit like a renegade or like <laughs> you you're gonna see like 20 people without their legs moving, just <laughs> just just arms everywhere. Yeah. I hope not. Oh my god, have you seen like the the white girl dancing TikToks? <gasps> Maybe I don't know. Maybe. It's so funny. Wait, you'll, what know, are they? you'll know when you see it. You'll know when you'll see it. What is, what is it? It's talking about how like girls dance in clubs. Okay. And it's girls like showing how they dance in clubs, you know, with like their drinks and they do the whole like. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, I go to clubs. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Sam go every week, man. Oh, I haven't been to a club in so long. I don't yeah. even enjoy clubs. I don't no, really. really no, 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 what do you, what you drink you do? At the start you don't. It all depends on who, who I go with, which is peak because that means if I haven't enjoyed a night out. It's probably you. Um, not John. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, like we, we went to Vegas and like those nights out were, they were really good. Mm. But that's because you're literally just, there's 12 of us that are all just like yeah. really good mates. Yeah. yeah, he's got clubbing so often. <laughs> we went to a club once in Vegas, right? And Simon was like throwing money around. I that was so bad. Like Basically JJ was and Randolph comes over to me and goes, I really want to go get some money out so I can do that. <laughs> and I said, bro. One of those like gun things. JJ literally went and got like $1 bills and just was doing this. And he was like, oh, I really I've never it. said that. Yeah. <laughs> no, and so now he tries to turn That is the there. most unconvincing you sound in this See? entire podcast. See? I actually really want to go to Vegas. I've I'm never planning said that. Vegas yeah, my yeah. birthday next year. Yeah, it's good. Is that an invite? I guess. I don't think it was. But you wanted the girls. You wanted, you wanted the girls. I so, you know, you wanted the girls. The girls. Apparently, my birthday's close to Cal's, and he, Tally said he might be going to. Calux. Yeah. But not. You, you, but you, sorry. No, I was going to be mean to Calux then. Go on. Yeah, he, she, she said it would crush him inside, knowing how old he's turning, how old I'll be. How old are you going to turn 21? Yeah. And he's turning 30. <laughs> that is actually going to crush he him. He said it would kill him inside. Yeah. The sad thing is, the year he turns 30 is. The year I turned 30. Just think, at least you're not turning Is 32 it? in Korea, you know? <laughs> Wait, I think that, so. What does that mean? Was it I'd be a year older and then two years older when, yeah. We it just was. had this conversation, yeah, I mean, bro. You were the one that brought How it do I understand this and you don't? <laughs> yeah, I'm a stinker. I thought, I thought something happened at 32 in Korea. Like, oh, good job you're not turning 32 in Korea. <laughs> So, yeah, you know, <laughs> when you get to 32 you are old that's yeah, just it, it. Just yeah, 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 yeah. you don't even get an age anymore you're no. just old but I'd love to go to Vegas mm. it is really fun it's a lot of fun but you need to make sure like you set aside time and money that money. you're willing to yeah to like, throw to make sure you do it right because I think the more you try and make it a, like a a normal thing 
it won't be as good. Yeah, I know. It's not a normal place, is it? It's, like, not. it's literally not normal. No. Yeah. But as in, we started going like every year almost. And it became like, I'd say it got worse every time. Yeah, I guess like... Whereas less. if you go once and you're like, yeah, I'm just going to make this amazing. Mm. It will be the best time you ever have. Mm. Oh, I'm jealous. Noted. One one thing of, of Vegas I liked was the uh, the flower. There's a drink. You put a flower in and it numbs your mouth. Yeah, and then it changes the taste of the drink. Yeah. It's actually quite sick. Yeah. That sounds wild. <laughs> yeah. We had a drink with Brian Heger and he uh, he showed us it. Little name drop. Did he? Yeah, that's what we First time. It. Yeah. Yeah. He, you went there. I was, that. I was there for that one. No, I wasn't there for that one. Um, but I still enjoyed the drink. He's too so. busy with his dollar bill. Like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never said that either. You did. You did. Bro, you smoked a cigar backwards. <laughs> like, there's a lot of things. Yeah, but, I'm only, but I'm, only up to, I'm only up to that one. That's because you remember it. This was later in the night. A different night. I know, but it was later. I feel like I'm living the night with you guys. I'm just reliving it. It never <laughs> happened. I, honestly, I've never, I've never felt so confident about anything in my life. Yes, you have. Yeah, Take I that have, back have, right now. I have, I have, I have, I have. <laughs> but I'm so confident. Um, <laughs> okay. But no, so we've actually played together on, on stream once. We have one time. Yeah, it wasn't very good. Well, yeah, yeah, it was I loved off. <laughs> it was the first time I played Valorant on stream. Well, it was the first time I played it in like a year. Okay. Or, so I, I used to play it a long time ago. And I was like, oh, I don't want to play Valorant. And everyone's like, no, 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 no. Now everyone plays it. But because I'd never like say that. Yet. You were just too ahead of the time, bro. I was I, like with everything, bro. Yeah, yeah. I just. On the channel. I remember because I met you and Josh was like, you have to you have to bark every time you say his name. Yeah. And I was just like, you don't have to do that. It's just trusting weird. Randy, Randy, yeah, Randy like, Josh. <laughs> yeah, it's just trusting weird. But no, I loved love because I just I didn't enjoy it. I wasn't really good at it that, 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 that night. I got better after that. So what games are you playing now? Well, nothing. So I've got no internet. So. <laughs> True. I mean, you go to you go to G's, right? Yeah, I still, I still play Valorant. Yeah, I'm just like you know an Uno kind of gal. Um, yeah, Valorant Among Us still. Because it hasn't died just yet. Everyone's waiting on a new game. I guess it's like. Sorry to interrupt. Speaking of new games, right? Has Four Guys got custom lobbies now? Yes. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. 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 <laughs> Whoa. We've been waiting for a long time for that. Do you, you, play, you play Four Guys? I played it the other day for a brand deal. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah. It's still not that fun yeah it's like a month like everyone's just waiting for a new game to come out because yeah. it's just dry at the moment mm. like resident evil kind of did did you play it bit. no i haven't had a chance to yet because i've got no internet so i mean you, you've been streaming <laughs> you've been going g's to stream like I, but I guess when you go g's to stream you can't really download new no. games you just play what, you, what she's got in a library yeah pretty much but mm. i think once i, I, I want to play it once i've got our internet hopefully mm -mm. Mm. very soon hopefully very soon, though i'm not gonna lie internet is Oh, please don't I, I, no, I don't want to. I don't want to say anything. I don't want to. You've been mostly uh, reacting, haven't you? So like, you've not been playing games either. Honestly, I load up a stream and I'm just like, I don't, I don't know what to do anymore. Yeah, it's I, awful. Mm. Like, it's just how everybody feels. Like G and I have started talking about doing like IRL streams. We want to do like a uh, cocktail making or like a bartender stream. That'd be sick. That'd be sick. Yeah. We have a few IRL. Like, make Jager I was say, when you say yeah, Jager. <laughs> cocktails, making cocktails, just a Jager bar. That's my idea. <laughs> cocktail, you know. It Whilst I was mixing cocktail, them, I was like, no. wow, I'm so. Good. <laughs> it technically is a cocktail, no. It's a mixer. Is it's that, a bomb. That's a cocktail, though. It's a bomb. Like, like, like gin and is tonic it? is a cocktail. Is it? I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm going I'm to look up the definition. Gin and tonic's a mixer, isn't it? Would you do IRL streams out? Yeah, G and I have an idea that I don't think we're going to say. Like, okay. We have an idea that we really want to do. Okay. That is it out. like a, a multiple idea or like one off? No, it's like a one off thing, I think. Okay. I, I don't know. It's not. It's not. It's nothing crazy. It's just like we're just not saying it on the stream yet because it's a bit of a hassle. And we don't want people to expect it. Okay. Can we know after? Yeah. Okay. It's really, it's really <laughs> easy. <laughs> we want to do like baking streams and stuff like that. It's just like, because when there's no good games out and it, sometimes it gets boring sitting and playing games all the time. Oh yeah. No, fully. Like you could just go outside, get your set up, just sit and talk and mm. watch the sunset. Chat. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I like, I enjoy stuff like GTA for, you know, once every couple weeks mm. and then, you know, uh, full guys, squads and stuff once yeah, every like couple weeks. Yeah. But that's it. I think these days we're so like used to like multiplayer games yeah. that it has to be like a really big multiplayer game to be able to like have fun with it. Like, games Among Us, so guys, G GTA like it's been going on for so long. Minecraft is still always always going to be there. Games like that, but Fortnite like, it's, in Warzone, it's all it's all like you know multiplayer games, isn't it? It's like when Rust was like massive like a week at the beginning of the year. Yeah, that mm. And like for mm. for a week it was all anybody played. Like I remember eating my dinner and being like I've been gone for half an hour and I've missed everything. Yeah. And if, then after a week it just nobody played it anymore. I hate that. Uh, when you're in it, you're like when I was playing Warzone every night, I was like, "There's no way this game is ever gonna get boring." 
So. It did. Yeah, I, I hate that. Got really um, I just want to report back to everyone now. I've actually researched this. What? Uh, so cocktail. Okay. Right. Definition is an alcoholic Research. drink. You googled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> an alcoholic drink consisting of spirit, or uh, of a spirit or spirits mixed with other ingredients such as fruit juice or cream. Okay, gin and tonic or gin and lemonade. That's the real question. Tonic. I said such as that's how you fruit know juice or cream. Grown. That was so that, that that was just a that was an example. Okay. Such as you know, but other ingredients is is the is the definition. So you're telling me if I have a shot mm-hmm. of whiskey mm-hmm. with ice, that's a cocktail. No, I wouldn't. No, no. It, other it, ingredients, but, lad. But <laughs> if, you, if you poured water in it, or if you poured poured coke, but the in ice it, melts a little bit. Yeah, but the ice starts as a that's science solid. But if I leave it purposely for 30 seconds to let a little bit of the ice yeah, melt. Cocktail, yeah. It's a, it's That's a, it, not a cocktail. It's a, it's a whiskey and water cocktail, but you're nitpicking it. If you point. were to ever say, I'm going to I'm gonna go make you a cocktail and you came back with that, I would throw it in your face. Because you shouldn't like whiskey. Well, no. It's so you're just... already losing. But if you asked for a cocktail and I came back with gin and lemonade, you wouldn't like go away. I would be like, I'd be like, thank you. This isn't a cocktail though. Damn. But by definition it is. So I'd say by definition it is. Surely it's not. <laughs> Good argument. Strawberry though. daiquiri, though. That's a different story. Oh, oh. oh. pina colada. Oh, that's the one. If you like pina colada, that's the most used song in film history. Is it? It literally is. That is, is this just something you've made up though? Um, it's something I've heard. I need not... some more research on that. Come right, yeah. <laughs> back to me. What were we talking about before? Yeah, we I can't remember. This? We were talking about something, and then you. Yeah, sorry. You sorry. really weren't lying when you said the side tracking thing. No, I think we were talking about. Oh, we're talking about streaming. What about GTA roleplay? I that's, really want to get into right that. You know Josh what, it's, been playing it, finally. Yeah, yeah. it's because it's no pixel. No pixel's like hard to get in, like kind of hard to get into, apparently. So it's kind of like, oh. And I think I, I live in this constant fear of me putting effort into getting into something, then it dying. That so I'm like, you know, know what? You it's been it's been alive for a while. I feel like if I join now, it might die by the time I get into it. I did get in last night. Um, so no flex. pixel. It's flex, <laughs> right? Flex, you know. <laughs> But the thing is, so Pokemon said someone asked her about playing it again, and she was like, "I don't like it anymore because it is just lots of people just try and find the big streamer." That's crazy. Even though it's like meta gaming and stuff, mm. you're not you're not allowed to basically find people based on their streams and stuff. You're not allowed to use any outside of game knowledge. Yeah. But she was just like, "Yeah, people will just bump into you," and it's just because yeah. like then they have a video with Pokemon or. I think. I, I think I saw some of Josh's stream and he will pass Saikuno and everyone in his chat was like, that's Saikuno, go talk to him, go talk to him. And he was like, well, no, it's not really something that I do yeah. like in the scenario. It's so that, hard. But it is, I feel like people do kind of swarm to yeah. the biggest streamers in the game and just pass it off as. Yeah, I'd hate it. Like, oh, what a coincidence. I've into you like five times today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then like, but then, but then I get it though at the same time. Yeah, no, it's a fine line it. between content and like. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do fully get Ching. it. I just hope. I just hope there's another game. To be honest, yeah, like I want to do. I want to do GTA roleplay for a bit, but mm. yeah, I guess the point where like GTA roleplay, but it's still GTA in it. Like, wouldn't you start like? It sounds like people are trying to like literally like squeeze every single last drop out of certain games. Yeah, it's because yeah. there's nothing else. Like everyone's just waiting for something new. But like, I think I think that's because there always has been something new mm. that people have jumped on. Right, so like Among Us came out of nowhere, but Among Us didn't. It was around for a couple of years. Yeah. No, so the hype came out of nowhere. Is what I mean. Yeah, and so like yes, yeah, so these like it just need the games may exist now. Is what I'm saying that that people can play and it can be like the next trending game. But someone needs to make it trending because Among Us is pretty much dead. Yeah, because it's someone literally still plays it every day. <laughs> was in like if you, if your lobby isn't playing, there's literally like I see two or three lobbies a day, mm. and if those lobbies aren't live. There is no one on the game. It's fun every now and then as like a party game, but even like the half food lobbies, they've just started doing Valorant customs and stuff yeah. instead. Like it's just mm. that's what I mean. Those it's those three. There was the there's the half food lobby, the well then there's the two UK lobbies beforehand. Mm. What was the other UK? There's one like early morning. Oh, and then there's Falks lobby, yeah, yeah. in the afternoons. And that's it. If those aren't on there's no one on it. The, the mm. highest viewed person is like nine viewers. It's really good to have structure to is your that, day though. Bad? I think that's why we still play it. Huh? Is it that bad? Yeah. Like wow. honestly, I, I don't see anyone on it. Yeah, when if you, you look at the viewers, like you know how on Twitch it shows each category with the viewers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Among Us is like... it was there, I thought it meant it's like, oh, you know, it's just like boring now. I didn't mean it. I didn't, I didn't think it meant it's actually like dead. Oh yeah. No, it's literally... It's like dying. 
<laughs> Please give us something new. <laughs> Please, someone, anyone, create a game. Well, you've now moved into London. Whoa. Uh, I mean, how long you you moved in? Two weeks ago. Yesterday. How's it been? I've actually been really enjoying myself. We've been forcing ourselves out of the house because, don't know if I mentioned, we have no internet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I think we've just kind of been forcing ourselves out to do stuff. We did learn that our hotspot works to our TV though, so we can watch Netflix. So we've just been watching Demon Slayer a lot. But, um, oh, oh, Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer. Dubbed though. Dubbed Demon Slayer. Anytime that was that was a sign of anger, by the God, way. God, anytime there's a fight scene, I'm like, gee, I'm just going to turn it on to like regular just so you can hear how much better it is. G watches dubbed. It's just because she had her attention span. Like she goes in her phone a lot, so she likes still knowing what's going yeah, on. Yeah, I do agree with that. I watch Pokemon a lot and I can't really watch. Do you? I didn't know you like Pokemon. Just had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> she got mugged off, mate. I got mugged off. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, no, I, it's, it's, it's valid. No, but, uh, but uh, even, even anime, I do like anime, but like, I'm, I'm often doing something while I'm watching it. Mm. And I, but I, hate, I hate watching dubbed. Yeah, yeah I get you. So like, is that either, I, either I don't know what's going on or I guess the, the solution is to learn Japanese. <laughs> I got the, mood, the mood is completely different if you watch it dubbed to sub. Yeah, oh, it, it is, it is. Yeah. Fully. I watched yeah. the first episode of something in... What did I watch the first episode in? I think it might have been like Haiku. I could never watch Haiku dubbed. No, I watched the first episode dubbed because I didn't think what I was watching it on had it subbed. Uh, okay. So I watched the first episode and I was like, it's all right. And then I changed it and everyone's voices changed. Yeah. And I was like, well, this just became a lot more emotional. The best yeah. bit of Haiku is, is the volleyball noises they make. When, they, when they're playing. <laughs> Did you say the volleyball noises? Yeah, it's a, so it's a volleyball It's a volleyball series. anime. It's like a sports anime. So what, what, what noises do they make when they play volleyball? <laughs> like, ah. Oh. Yeah. Yo. Like, have you watched Attack on Titan? Yeah. You know, when they fight and they're like. Liar. No, I've seen it. <laughs> oh my Liar. God, I actually fell for that one as well. I'm not lying. I've seen one episode with you. The very first one. The tall uh, men are really scary. There's a lot fighting in that, you know. And the like, tall things uh, are so horrible though. Mikasa. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't understand anything you're saying. <laughs> there really, it's, just a um, lot more, it's just a lot more entertaining in Japanese, I think. But the big things are gross. The Titans. The Titans. <laughs> Have you seen like the TikToks where they do like attack, attack and Titan in real life? Yeah, I've seen that. Actually. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. that was, <laughs> they find like a guy on the street and then he turns into a Titan. Yeah. Oh, I feel like no. I was gonna say I haven't seen that one. Yeah, I they think... do like they do like um, CGI things, or like you're going mm. across a bridge, and then like a titan comes along. I can't tell anymore if you're just trying to. That's be what I'm trying to figure out. Actually... I'm being serious. I'm not. So, I'm never sarcastic. Lies. <laughs> that was sarcastic. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> Have you seen um, Death Note? No, the normal TV show. Pokemon. No. Dragon Ball. Non anime. Um, That's already narrowing it bad. down. No, I haven't. Would you want to? <laughs> I sound like an invite. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm not uh, invited. Would you want to? <laughs> but would you, would you want to? Yeah. Would you want to? <laughs> well, if that wasn't however much money it was, I would have been thrown over there. No, but if you got spare time, you should watch it on your own. Yeah, actually, I don't like watching stuff on my own, though. I'll watch it with G then. Has G seen it? I don't think so. I forced her to watch it. You don't have to. You do. Is it bad? Or is it... It's breaking bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, basically, we have a... We have a huge <laughs> argument because he's like, that's the greatest TV show ever. It's so good. It's so apparently good. there's an episode, apparently didn't they run out of their budget halfway through and there's an episode where it's just a fly in a, like a lab and it's... You're going to really anger him. You allow... <laughs> yeah, it's so it's a very controversial episode, but it's very good. Okay. Well, I mean, it has to be if you can make an entire episode out of a guy and a fly, like... Yeah. yeah I'm, not, I'm not sure about the no budget thing. It might be true. I've not known that myself, but it is like some, sometimes when people rewatch it, they skip that episode. Oh. Um. But it's a very good episode. Like it's like very like I mean you learn a lot about the characters in the episode. I think the last TV show I watched, I was like, this is a probably Attack on Titan. <laughs> that's what I said to you. By the way, you can't move this if you want to lean back. Like, oh, I saw you like yeah. I keep like you and sit forward and <laughs> yeah. Um, I keep saying to him because he always says that Breaking Bad is the best TV show ever, and I'm like, well, you can't say that if you haven't seen other stuff. Like I think Attack on Titan is one of the best. Yeah, I think it's amazing. Like, but I, he hasn't oh. seen it. So What's your favorite like is it Breaking Bad your favorite like ever? No, I want to say, so Game of Thrones is my favorite, but Breaking Bad is better, if that makes sense. So didn't you watch any, like, you know how people are like, my favorite TV show is Friends. That felt like a personal attack. That, 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 that was, was like a personal attack like Simon. More Talia. Is it? More, and it's actually not. Talia and I have this argument all the time just because I prefer How I Met Your Mother. I think How I Met Your Mother is amazing. Oh. Rewatchability, Friends. Really? Because I can rewatch the whole of How I Met Your Mother, like, all the time, never get bored. No, Whereas so, Friends, like, because I think there's so much, there's so many iconic episodes, you're like, 
feel like I've watched this a billion times. I think I'm Friends for... is one that you can watch out of order better. Yeah. yeah. Yes. You can just flick on the yeah. TV and be like, oh, that's a cool one. Yeah. I agree, I agree, I agree. I also prefer Brooklyn Nine-Nine over, yeah. over both. Yeah. Like but we've had this opinion for a while, but I think it's still new, isn't it? It's still like quite new. Yeah. So like, like in 30 years, and no question. And it hasn't ended. Of all time. It hasn't ended. Is it not? No. So they did a, it got cancelled, then they it did, did another season and then it got cancelled again. But now I think they're doing one final season. Really? Yeah. yeah oh to my end, God. To end it. Thank God. Yeah. Every time you think you've caught up, they release a new season and you're yeah, like. Yeah. Yeah. That's what always, that's one thing that's put me off a lot of shows in the past is when they have breaks and stuff. So like Suits has it a lot. I used to love Suits and yeah, I, I, I caught, I binge watch a lot. So I, when, once I catch up, I'm not very good at continuing it. Like Breaking Bad, the reason I enjoyed that so much is because it was That's me with Breaking Bad. Because mm. uh, I, I watched the first season as I was leaving uni. Oh. So the last like week of my uni when I'm trying to sort my life out, I didn't watch anything. What did you do at uni? Criminology. Oh. Yeah. It's going to oh. be a fed. That really worked. That really worked. <laughs> <laughs> but then I left uni and didn't watch it because I had like the break. Yeah. Never went back to it. So I don't think it's bad. I just... Should I come over one night a week and we watch it together? That's cute. That's cute. Sure. <laughs> the way he's looking at you, you can't say no to that. <laughs> I know. Jeez. Don't feel like it was a choice anymore. That's it's cute. not a choice. <laughs> <laughs> you have no choice. He's out of over at five. <laughs> yeah. And not then five. we watch Attack on Titan. Yeah, I'll do that. Do you know the thing about animes though? You'll watch like two, two three seasons where there's 12 episodes a season and then you'll watch like the fourth one it'll be like 30 episodes and yeah. you're like what? Yeah. Isn't that with Naruto? Isn't Naruto like a million episodes? Like That's like One Piece. Oh, one Piece is like a thousand yeah. episodes. That's like Haikyuu. Was it like season three of Haikyuu? It's just like two, three, four episodes. Yeah. And it's all on one match but it's amazing. It's match. amazing. It's one, a single, one of game, a single game of... What, and you think, whole you think like, game. okay, how is this, how is the whole episode going to be on like three points? It's gripping. It, it manages to do it and it is sick. How, how can I watch it on my Apple TV? Flex. No, <laughs> not flex. How do I watch it on my really expensive system? <laughs> Get yourself a Crunchyroll account and just. Uh, is it on Apple TV it? though? There's probably an app. Yeah, you yeah. can probably like screen it. Because yeah, nowadays, I'm because I'm such a boomer, I'll just like set my sofa now. How many of you? Sit and watch Midsummer Murders. Nothing <laughs> like, like, wrong with that. Sorry, Detective Barnaby. <laughs> Yeah. Is, is, <laughs> oh my god. Inspector Morse. Like a boomer count every time you guys say something. Inspector Morse. Nah, that's boomer. Inspector Morse. Doc Martin. Lewis. You're you're getting more boomer. The only reason I would. I love bit... Broadchurch. Broadchurch kind of banged. That's I met I met the Midsummer Murders cast. Did you? Yeah. Cast. That's very. Cast. Cast. So they filmed right? near my next door to my friend's house, so we snuck in. Did hide them. Doesn't doesn't murder at your friend's house? Life on the edge. Well. Apparently. <laughs> Do you watch Land of Duty? No, my dad is obsessed with it. Because my dad's a police officer. He loves it. I could have worked with his dad. <laughs> <laughs> Straight as <aside, laughs> <him up. laughs> um, Does he, did he, uh, like, was he mad at the last episode? Yeah, he said it was awful. It was awful. So like, I, I don't watch it. But my, my family loves it. Laura loves it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to watch the last few episodes with her. Watch the last few. And even I was disappointed. I only, I only yeah. seen three episodes of the last season ever to ever exist. And I was like, that's, a, that's an awful ending. <laughs> you, you started watching it, but dad was like, you had to watch like the previous seasons to kind yeah. of understand it fully. But he was like, yeah. But my dad's the kind of person where like, you know, our girl, is that the one? If there's anything, because he's, he's ex-military, now a police officer. If anything isn't like correct, he'll be like, that's not right. Be like, yeah. That would be murder, that's manslaughter. Like that's sort of breaking, that's this. Yeah, but, like, but sometimes it's not entertaining, is it? So they have to, they have to change things sometimes yeah. to make it I fit totally more. Let the girl live. Your dad sounds like a scary man. He's actually, my mum's quite scarier. <laughs> <laughs> and they're probably both watching this. So I Are they both from Brighton? Mm. Says it all, really. What does that mean? What, what's that supposed to mean? He just says it all. In what way, though? It says that they're from Brighton. <laughs> <laughs> it says that they're from Brighton. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, okay. Says it all, really. It's just something you say, isn't it? Yeah, but there's normally a point behind it. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to get questions. So I just thought I'd sneak it in there. <laughs> Try my look and obviously it failed. So, so when I said I was from Brighton, you were just like, oh, she must have. Her dad must be a police officer. <laughs> in my head, right? Brighton just doesn't exist. Yeah, we're like Australia, which doesn't right. exist. Yeah, it's, it's so when I said I don't know where Plymouth is, and you looked at me like it was some weird thing. Oh, no, 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 no. But no I know Brighton where, doesn't exist. I know where Brighton <laughs> is, though, but I feel like in my head, like it's just like something that people always talk about, but it never, it just like, do you know what I mean? Like, I've never been there, and it never. I've been to a lot, a lot of places in the country, but I've never been to Brighton. Brighton Bangs is beautiful. Although the one thing you do there is drink and eat. And so when everything was shut, you got nothing, you got nothing to, do. to do. Yeah. Look at the sea. That is nice to do that. I do love the sea. I love yeah, that. I do miss being by the sea. Mm. Well, now you've got, I was say you got a river. <laughs> yeah, I just look at the Thames. I'm like, wow. Oh, very muddy. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> I'll go for a swim. So do you prefer Brighton or London now? 
See, I love London so much because this is where all my friends are. But I feel, oh, that's so hard. That's actually a really difficult question. I'll say Brighton because I haven't been here long enough for it to like. Yeah. So I'll ask you again in like six months. Yeah. Maybe like come up to me tomorrow and I'll be <laughs> like, yeah, right. We've really wasted London, you know. We haven't wasted London. COVID has happened. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. I, I literally can't believe how lucky I've been that I've moved and everything's opening up again. Yeah. yeah. Literally today. Mm, yeah, today. Oh, Monday yeah. the 17th. Going for I, a steak tonight. Are you? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. What was the invite? It's me and Talia. Yeah. And? <laughs> <laughs> and Randolph. <laughs> <laughs> is this after or is this before or after you guys watched uh, Attack Breaking on Bad. Oh, okay. All that. Yeah. Both. Has Talia seen Breaking Bad? Bro, movie. She's too scared to start new programs. I get like that. I do this thing. It's really stupid. When I watch a TV show I really like, I won't finish it because I don't want it to end. I No, I know that. I actually know I'm that. I'm doing theory. it right now. Literally, there's a TV show that I, I started watching like three years ago and I've never watched the last episode because I don't want it to end. Okay, I've never done that bad. I've never, yeah. No, yeah, sorry, I, <laughs> I, 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 I just bad. slow down. I I'm just slow yeah. down massively. I'm watching a show that I've seen before. But I'm watching it again and I got, I've got to the last episode and I don't, don't want to watch it. I watched uh, Euphoria. I, uh, do you, oh. I, I watched Euphoria recently and I, I, hate, I hate watching the last episode without knowing it's the last episode. And you know when you can feel that it's yeah. the last episode and I was like... Yeah, I hate when you rewatch a show as well and you can tell when the last episode of a season is. You know, if you're going to binge it and you don't really look at the numbers and Netflix just brings it on, I'm always like, that's the last episode. Yeah, you need, you need to know, leave it. Be ready for it. Yeah, yeah, Prepare. yeah. Yeah. I actually had another idea for a podcast, right? Mm -hmm. No offense. Um, <laughs> <laughs> None taken. I thought like once a month, right? All it is, is we agree. I find five people or something like that. We all agree to watch one anime or like a season of an anime. And then at the end of the month, it's just to talk about that. It's like a book club. Basically, yeah. Oh, that's that's sick, yeah. You that's turn it into sick, a podcast. Like uh, Simon's book club. But it's not really. It's not book, book club. Simon's, <laughs> Simon's anime club. Sure. And it, it's a work in progress. We'll work yeah, on yeah, it. We'll we'll work on it. I've got it. I've got it. Animenta. I don't know. No, I don't know about that. I really actually thought it was. You know, that, in my head, that was in my head. awful. As well. Yeah, I, I, was, I, like, I can really... feel like I can think. Imagine you thinking it and then saying it out loud. Yeah. It sounded better in my head. <laughs> like, like written down, it looks good. But how good would that be? Yeah, so you go like, sick. all right, this month we're going to talk about a haiku season one. And then at the end of the month, we just just come together and go, ah, oh, Hinata is the best person in the world. I'm more of a Kageyama <laughs> guy myself. But you yeah, know. classic Himana. Himana! You know who that is? Himana. Goku. <laughs> that is, it's not Goku, no. It's, a, uh, it's someone from Hunter x Hunter. Oh, I've actually watched so it It's Heaven. on my list. I've got a big list. The, the issue with anime is I've got nothing nothing against I, I don't dislike it at all. In fact, I think I would really enjoy it. But mm -hmm. it's just like people talk about so many of them. And I'm, and I'm like, it's sure, overwhelming. How have you seen that many? Like, how, how have people but seen that many? You've seen so many. You've seen so many TV shows. It's the same thing. If, and if you're scared to, just watch movies. That's what I did for a while. When I felt overwhelmed, I'll watch like a movie. I'm not scared to. It's just that like, I'm like, what? Do, which one do I, I watch start? first? You know, what, like, like you know, and then I have to, I have to watch it. You know, I, I like, to, I like to watch stuff like. I like to look at my phone a bit when I'm watching TV TV and listen to it and look up. That's that's why I like. I mean, if you have watching shows, but then you could just watch it dubbed. Yeah, no. it's really not that bad. It's just it more bad. It's so immersive. Bad. It's so bad. Yeah, it's bad. the only show that I watch yeah. dubbed is Pokemon now and then. But that's because when I was a kid, I started watching yeah. it dubbed because obviously I, 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 I'm not, I couldn't read. <laughs> I was a kid. I feel like Pokemon doesn't have the. Oh, this is gonna get hate, but yeah, I feel like it doesn't me. have the emotion that doesn't have like, the anime, like yeah, like it is anime, it but is. it doesn't have the emotion most animes have in terms of you need the subs to fully understand it. But is that because you grew up watching it? Maybe yeah, no, it is. It, 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 yeah, if you watch it, it's still it's very sick. It's very very sick. But it obviously, it is like a it's, it's not it's not. I say it's like a kids show, but not in a sense where it's not it's not necessarily directed at kids. But it, there's no like gore or like there's no mm. adult like themes in it. Obviously, so. You know, so it's, it's not like it doesn't really challenge you much, but it's, it's, it's watching it um, uh, subbed is, is still sick. Yeah, Attack on Titan was the first like gory, like yeah. I know that scene, I was like, oh my god, what's yeah, going it's, on? It's quite gory. I saw, yeah, the first start, episode we watched was mad. right from the first episode, <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, it got stood on. I started watching, um, me and Tyler started watching Demon Slayer, so I'd already <laughs> seen it, but then we watched it together and we didn't make it past the first episode. She really, yeah, she, uh, she does not want to watch it anymore. Really, yeah. what is she not like, what is she bad with? Well, you've seen it, right? Yeah. The first episode, something big happens. Yeah. 
And she was just like, oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no, no. oh interesting. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, okay. Next. Mm-hmm. I don't know what I don't know what we're talking about next. I was gonna look at the talking about now, honestly. <laughs> in in uh, an issue I was with gonna the, look up the X while you Yeah, an issue with the Pokemon anime is that the Pokemon they call different names in J- Japanese. Yeah. So we all know them as like, you know, so Bulbaslaw. Bulbaslaw. <laughs> Bulbasaur <laughs> is called something completely different in Japanese. So you oh, watch really? it and you, yeah, you're like, what, what's that? What's that one? And you see it, and you're like, oh, that makes sense. That's mad. All right, you want to go through the the X? The X, yeah, I'm so interested okay. in this. Oh, okay, okay. I'm so not a con- remember what mine was. So one of the first ones is actually, what the fuck is a Nick? Really? Yeah. The next one is you. Thank you for that. Um, boys wearing sunglasses on top of their head. Oh, that's the kind of thing that would be an ick, but... Depends. But if you're, is it snowing? Like, are we inside? Like, what's the context? It's snowing. Yeah, if you, it's, it's snowing and someone's wearing sunglasses, you're you're a twat. Like, take them off. <laughs> fuck. But they have taken them off. They put them on the head. So what if it's sunny? Right, it's sunny, and all of a sudden it starts snowing. <laughs> like, <laughs> do you expect to do? them to keep them on? Yeah, that I'm not, that is not something I'd look at and go. Ugh. Yeah, I think that person's random. I'm so annoyed. I can't remember what mine is. Boys wearing helmets on bikes. No. There is nothing no. icky about safety. Yeah, what the... Who's that? <laughs> that is Betsy Ann. Betsy, Betsy. You should be disgraced. <laughs> that is... I'm not going to lie. I, I used to never wear a helmet on bikes. Are you one of them? Then, we one of those No, kids. but then I got like a... That was when I was like a kid and I had... You know, you don't have like a proper bike. You have like a... Yeah, and you don't want to wear like a helmet. BMX cool. or... Yeah. Now I have a bike and I'm on roads and it's like... I'm, there's no... You have a fluorescent no, jacket. Yeah. <laughs> Knee pads. <laughs> Those who are listening as well who don't wear helmets, even at a young age, I had a guy at my church who uh, didn't wear a helmet and he got hit. He's alive, he's alive now, but he was in like uh, had brain damage, intensive care for like six months no. um, just because he didn't wear a helmet. It's crazy. Safety up, everyone. Just don't Can't... leave the house. That's what I do. Oh, yeah, all that. He's fixed. Yeah. <laughs> <Is it? laughs> um, some of these are just kind of weird. It's wrong. It's just wrong. It's because it's such a little thing that you just do and you're like, why is this unnerving? Um, no, some of them are. Some of them aren't icks. They're disturbing. I'm so um, curious. I mean, walking in on my dad having a bath. Don't know if that counts. I mean, I'd hope, I'd hope that's, a, that's <laughs> I don't know if that one. Guys walking down spiral stairs. I don't know why. They just always look uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I get why that, specifically though. guys like when girls do it they don't well, no because you know like the classic movie scene of like a like a very elegant woman walking down yeah. spiral staircase they look it elegant. looks elegant whereas a guy doing it is kind of like oh the stairs are getting thinner I hate, like, I hate <laughs> the idea of that but girls would have to wear a dress isn't it can yeah, they you describe? But do you know what I hate? The idea of going down a long staircase, the prolonged eye contact. Because you know there's someone waiting for you at the bottom and you're like, hi. And especially with ha- a spiral one, you're like, yeah. hi, I can't see anyone. I hate meeting anyone in general. You know, if you see someone from like in the street at a distance, you're both walking next to each other or sorry, towards each other. I hate that. Especially with someone know you know. Yeah. You know where to look. When, when do you say hello? Hello? <laughs> 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 or do you say it when you get there? Um, real quick though, like, what, what's the sta- spiral staircase? A staircase and a spiral. Yeah, I got you both. <laughs> when I was younger, everyone was like, describe a spiral staircase. And apparently you can't describe it without doing this. Oh, okay. I was like, when you said got you, I was like, we just thought you were dumb. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's all yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, apparently when everyone describes it, they always do that. Oh, true. See, my brother got married and his, uh, me and my other brother were best men. And we had to walk down. It's like, they were getting married on a platform here and either side were, was a staircase. Ooh. And it was, you know, like I would walk down with one of the bridesmaids, the other side. And it's, it was so slow because you have to, you can't just walk down. Yeah, you, can't just you have to do it down. in time, you know, like, okay, one step. Because you're dancer, step. you're you dancer. To. And it was so, it's, the, the wedding was fun, but oh my God, it felt like 90 seconds of walking down 10 stairs <laughs> and everyone is just looking at you. Oh and yeah. And where do I look? Do I look down as if I don't know how to walk downstairs? Do I look at people in the eyes? Do I look at the... Yeah, I shook at the wall. Yeah. It's, it's like when you, uh, when you go for like a wee at the cinema and you just think everyone's looking at you. I don't. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's not that many people in the toilet when I yeah, go. No, I, I, no, not in the toilet. <laughs> got you. <laughs> How about when you're on an airplane and you get to go to the toilet? You think everyone's watching you then? No. Surely you guys, mm. rela- if, if, you, if you relate, put a comment. No, no, John? John, don't relate? Put in the comments if you relate, please. Make him feel something. <laughs> um, boys carrying a shopping basket. 
What I supposed to do? Balance on their head. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, this yeah. is such random stuff. I actually am so annoyed. I can't remember what my ick was. You know what? You know we're gonna start recording, and then you're gonna remember it as soon as we start recording. Yeah, literally. I'll Guaranteed. be walking down the street on my way home, and I'll be like, Yeah, yeah. You don't I, know what happens. I liked a guy for ages until I saw him out with his mum buying video games. Dude, that's just so like. Did you that. ever watch uh, Take Me Out? Yeah. There was there was a couple times where. The guy would have loads of lights on. He'd be like, "Oh yeah, I'm really close with my uh, my mum, dad, or I'm really I'm really good friends with my mum." Everyone just turns <laughs> yeah, the lights get it. on. Like, what do you want? You're gonna be like, "Oh, yeah. I hate my mum's <laughs> bitch." <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're gonna inherit like a, a new mum, mm. aren't you? Mm. Yeah, you inherit. I mean, I don't think <laughs> inherit's the right word, really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you're doing no, okay. Maybe not inherit, but you're gonna like have another mum. Have two mums <laughs> running up the stairs on all fours. <laughs> I would be concerned. <laughs> but I used to do that when I was a kid. <laughs> you did too. Yeah. 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 I did too, actually. You're like, oh, I'll go so far. <laughs> yeah. I, I was, I, this is where I was going, what the hell? I went, wait, I think I probably did that as a kid. You I mean, yeah, you saw someone do it now. Yeah, like, I mean, oh, yeah, as an adult. Yeah. Someone above the age someone's of. Someone's going down like Oxford Street. Like, <laughs> yeah. You see that guy in, who's going for a wee in the cinema and he just starts crawling up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's the weird, grudge. Mate. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cinemas are open as well, aren't they? Yeah, today. Yeah. No, I never really got to, went to go to cinema. I've been like twice. Oh my god! I just what? had no friends. COVID's oh. only been two years. <laughs> right, I know. I wait, just didn't have, I didn't have any friends that were movie people, and I hate going to the cinema on my own. Right? This is this is the life I've been uh, living. He goes to cinemas on his own. I wish I could. I think it's really cool. I think no, really no. Cool I, 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 sorry, I, I don't. He does. I would rather go on my own. I think it's cool. That you can <laughs> That's do that. worse. That's <laughs> no, worse. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I like, that I, means you, you. People ask to go with you, and you're like, fine. Oh, God's no, no, no. sake. I, I, me, me and my wife Laura go to cinema a lot. I love it. And yeah. you just said you'd rather go on your own. And no, that's, that's, that's why. That's why I'm. <laughs> that's why I'm bringing it back. Like, you know, I'm joking. I, I, last time I went was for Avengers because I love the Marvel Which movies oh. and game. I also went for Infinity War. I went to the back to back. Did I go? Which, screenings. Which one did I? Go? I went. I went to one of them. Went to Endgame. With JJ. Endgame. Endgame in cinema was actually the best experience. That was Endgame, right? Not Infinity War. You went with Bass, right? Yeah. Endgame. Yeah. That was sick. Mm. That's the first time in England I've ever been to a cinema that's been like an American cinema. It was crazy. You know, yeah, you know, you know, you know yeah, the moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, goosebumps. Yeah. Everyone clapped. Everyone went. <gasps> I love yeah. Marvel movies so much. Normally. I was chatting the whole way through mine. Huh? One, one guy was chatting the whole way through. I thought you said Laura. No, no, no. I was like, he just outed her like that. No, no, no. Out your wife. Uh, when when you go bowling and they put their leg behind the other leg, you know when you bowl and Ooh, um, that's how you're supposed to do, it, isn't it? <laughs> but I guess that's you the point. That, you do that personally. <laughs> what? So they're basically asking you to not be good, not be good at bowling. I guess the point is that they're not professional bowlers, but they're doing. Like, oh yeah, you know what? Oh, mm. I get it. I get it. I just use the little ramp thing. You actually? <laughs> that's my. <laughs> I was going to say, what's the point uh, of going bowling? No, 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 I don't. I don't. You do, don't you? No, I actually don't. I used to. If you go to America then, or you go to Vegas, and you go bowling, just don't look in the lanes. They're Every so, American so is they're somehow so a pro bowler. Yeah. They turn up with like bra- arm braces. And yeah. they... What do we British people get? What what natural talent are we born with? Bowls. <laughs> we... Bowls. <laughs> like, all British people just really good. <laughs> yeah, we can, we, can throw, we, can, we can throw a big ball that's closer to a little ball. <laughs> I was I was actually in my Discord one time and there's an American girl who is like, oh, I've got bowling club, and I was like, that's cool. What do you that. mean? And she was like, yeah, our school has bowling club. Yeah, and everyone gets you know like 180, 200. That's the perfect school is 300, right? Yeah, everyone just gets like 200. Yeah, yeah. So we'll, we'll, yeah, so people I'll celebrate one one strike in a whole game. Yeah, I'll, I one I'll strike, hit a pin and I'll be like. When we go, yeah. when we go in, like, they, must, they must come to our, like, you know, because like, we, we go places like, like you know, get, bring you food and stuff. They must mm. come to us and be like, look at the scoreboard and think, you guys are so <laughs> bad. Yeah, e- even if you get a group that come next to you who are American, that aren't like pros, they don't have the arm brace or anything, they'll, they'll still so get like good. three strikes, three, four strikes in a row. And if they get a spare, they're like, damn it. See, bowling's yeah. another thing that I've only done a few times in my life. So I want to be pro. Bowling's fun. Did you, did you just not have friends or was it friends? I just, had, I just <laughs> have boring friends. <laughs> You're still in contact with these people. No, that's what I'm gonna say. G. <laughs> I, like I live with them. <laughs> um, I've got socks with holes in. I'm really bad for having socks with holes in. So, so these he. don't. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm you got... normally are. Yeah, he's brand new. <laughs> brand new. Those are brand new. I was about to go in detail brand new about one, yeah. sock holes then, but always. Why? 
Go on, do it. So you hate it when you get a hole in your sock and yeah, it like your your toe like oh, it comes out. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I don't think. I think I've only ever had one pair of socks that's had a hole on the toes. It, it, but it always ends up at the toe. No, mine's always like here. You lucky bastard. Though. Yeah. So <laughs> that's. Until no, I bought, you get the weird, like, I'm just really hyperanalyzing everyone's feet now. In, how, 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 how mine? How short do his feet look? <laughs> <laughs> They're like hooves. Compared to yours as well. <laughs> you got hooves. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. No, so before I bought these socks brand new, right? Every single pair of socks in my sock drawer had a hole in it. Yeah, that's probably what mine was like. I think I've got something wrong with my toe. I always lose socks as well. I have to buy loads. Yeah. Well, the first thing I bought when I moved was just lots of socks. When their top or jumper goes up and shows a bit of their belly at the bottom. I you know get it. Like yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's a lot hard to just put it down, you know. Well, well, it, no, if, if, if they're reaching up to something, it's, it's all yeah. right. It's natural. But you know, when, when someone's got a t-shirt and does it without, it's like, just get a bigger t-shirt. Yeah, it's not hard. Get a bigger shirt. Man. Some of these are, when a boy says a joke, no one laughs, so they repeat it. Oh, this is when anybody does that. It doesn't have to be a boy <laughs> when anybody does that. <laughs> like, I did that a lot. Wait, because when, when people don't laugh, when people ignore it, that's a, that's a gratitude. They're letting you get away with I saying think, a bad joke. Sometimes I think the issue is, though, is like you don't know that they've, you think they've ignored you. So you think they've not heard you, but they've ignored you. Um, and you say it again. Yeah. And you're like, right, okay, now I get it. As long as they don't acknowledge it, that's the worst. If they go, bro, we heard you the first time. Oh, that would <laughs> kill me. Done. That would kill me. That's you getting mugged off. It's yeah. like when you go to like, you know, when you go to like add something to a conversation, you find nobody hears, so you're like, yeah, it's <laughs> the worst. It's the worst. Like, you say something and right, and, and, and you, no one's replied, and it's like, have they heard me or not? And yeah. that, that little second there, oh my god, kill me. Yeah, I was just thinking about it. It's making me want to cry. It, yeah. I can't oh, lie. No. I've suffered so many times. He said he didn't like peas, and that put me off him. I do love peas. <laughs> but if someone goes, ah, oh, I don't really like them, you're suddenly like, Ugh. you're so unattractive. <laughs> yeah, like <peas. laughs> who's following you, man? <laughs> Slow walkers, I can agree yeah, with that. Yeah, slow walkers are But just, that's not That's an not it. That's just that I'm going yeah. to push you into the road and okay. hope there's a car <laughs> present. Like, <laughs> to be fair, I think you should be allowed to punch them. Yeah, you should. Back in the head. Yeah. 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 Just to make them speed up a little bit. Just a little... Because you can't, you can't pivot someone, can you? Like in, a, in a car, you can pivot someone. You can't pivot someone who's alive. Pivots? What? What's that mean? Sorry, sorry, pip. What's that mean? You didn't change. <laughs> that was no You're in a car coherent. and you pivot someone. Oh, oh, like Yeah, you put the hunk on. Put the honk on. <laughs> yeah. Put the honk yeah, on. Why is that but that has to be like... But in, in, in the street, you can't just go honk. <laughs> and hope someone moves out of the way. No, but you could just say, excuse me. <laughs> oh, yeah. You could. <laughs> That's the same thing. <laughs> you could say, excuse me. Yeah. Oh, my God. I bet you do that, don't you? <laughs> you're, behind, you're walking behind someone really slow. You're like... <laughs> honk. Like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they turn around and they, they move out of the way just because they think just yeah I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm sorry I didn't know you could just say excuse me you didn't you didn't know I that. forgot that <laughs> I forgot that you could do I'm that I'm just imagining you behind someone and in your head you're like honk like I see it oh, I I'm not gonna like G and I communicate in the house by just making weird noises if I don't know what room she's in I'll just be like huh, and just, she'll just reply and I'll be like okay she's in the bathroom we don't do that do we <laughs> Well, you talk and that sounds like that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You just go honk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, any more icks, Simon? That's uh, tickled me. That really tickled me. When they their payment gets rejected. Nah. No. <laughs> I think that's just peak. Yeah, that's just peak. Imagine right. like going out for dinner with someone and their card gets rejected and you're like, I'm leaving. Yeah. <laughs> How many? Well, you can't, you have to pay for it then. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's not true. They can't pay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, men with long nails in general. Oh, I f- feel that, but I don't know. I've never really met a guy with long nails. I I don't. I've little like man hands. What do you think of his hands? I think they're lovely. I think you have thanks. lovely hands. Yep, thanks. I always says the one thing I've learned from not from you, but from because of you. I know I did Pokemon pack openings. No one lets your hands live. No. Yeah, Literally, you could be like, oh yeah, okay, I've I've you know, I've cut my nails, I've cleaned my nails, etc. And then someone be like, clean your nails, mate. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, Come on! Yeah, it's like one like what it's like 
you just got a bit of dirt in them, like which is natural. And mm. they're like, oh, you don't clean your nails. I'm like, well, I just forgot for this one video. Like, I let hate me know. Yeah. Like whenever I get my nails done, my ego goes through the roof. But I bite mine really badly, so they never look nice. <laughs> baby cool. talk. What? What's that supposed? What? You know when you know when someone talks to a baby. Yeah. And they're like, oh, good you, good you, goo, all that stuff. But, yeah, but they're, they're, uh, if they're talking to a baby, then yeah, sure. But if if somebody turned around to me and was like, good you, good you, yeah, yeah. literally like, <laughs> yeah, baby <laughs> talk. They they said that was kind of weird. Baby. That's talk. what it says, bro. <laughs> baby talk. It's fucking disgusting. That's what it says. To a baby, it's fine though, because yeah. uh, you know, baby doesn't know. Baby doesn't know. Well, I assume it funny. must be to them if it's a nick. Yeah, yeah. Well, not, like, but like not in the bedroom though. Maybe. <laughs> He's a good boy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, say oh, that. Please don't next one. Honk. <laughs> <laughs> um, boys posing with a finger pointing at someone. KSI. What, what like the? Yeah. Yeah. V-necks. Oh, that's an interesting one, actually. V-necks. Yeah. Have you, okay, have you guys heard of like the, the white t-shirt? No. Like, is it, is it a complex? I don't know. The white t-shirt. Like, it's like a white t-shirt, like, ding. I don't know what the word is he put after. Right, we're going to move on from it. Okay. <laughs> so, because okay. I, because I, I have it. If you, you, you'd have a guy, just like an average guy, but when a guy is just wearing like a white t-shirt and jeans, but if it was a white V-neck, no. I mean, I don't, you know what a V-neck is, right? Yeah, yeah, of course, okay. yeah. Yeah, I've never, I've never looked at a guy with a white t-shirt and jeans on and been like... What about me? I would, Just I would, hits different. I think it's because it's so simple. And yeah. Like... yeah so yeah. what about... There's always the... I hate that I'm saying this. The grey track suits. Or the grey s- sweat bottom. She and I, I to actually talk about this very in depth. Um, oh, no. <laughs> guys that can dress well is such a like... Yes, because it's so like... I say rare. Like... Just people to wear tracksuits all the time. And it's like, give us something, you know? If you're gonna wear a tracksuit, don't have it be like just like boring. At least make it like a nice tracksuit. You know? I meant more the the grey. Oh, the the grey. The like... grey tracksuit bottoms. Mm. That like JD Sports. No, I mean more like if you wear them in a video, there's a lot of comments about it because oh. it's apparently the the clearest outline. Oh uh. <laughs> that was not what I was No, me neither. I wasn't thinking that. I just think your your audience is just, you know. Yeah, you're all pervs. <laughs> <laughs> all of you. I was just thinking, you know, green mall, grey mall, is that they call it? What? What, the, the, what are you trying to say? The, the colour you're talking about is grey mall. The colour I'm talking about is, is grey. I know, but <laughs> in, 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 like, in fabric, it's like, uh, I don't matter. It's known as grey mall. But it's weird that people look for stuff like that, though, you know? Like, if imagine, like, being like, okay, they're wearing grey. Yeah. He does that. Well, I think it's hopefully more prominent that they don't have to look. For they it. have to look. <laughs> <laughs> look <we're> just like, <laughs> I'm looking. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, yeah, there you go. So, what is there anything else? Is there anything that's the opposite of a nick? So, one I always hear is when guys do this over the. when they're driving and they look over their shoulder. That is a thing, apparently. Yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing that girls find attractive it's not safe though anymore what to look over your shoulder when you're reversing yeah because now you should look at your camera in your car should you yeah because now uh, i think uh, rear windows are getting smaller and smaller and harder to see out of there's less vis- less visibility but if you look at your camera then so it's the safety it's safety first I yeah. maybe this is why Freya was unattracted to you maybe <laughs> 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 i'm gonna text Freya. Right i'm now. so curious i actually really want to know wait what time is it she might be streaming oh she is but she'll reply might reply I don't know, to you, she might not reply. I could put it in a chat. He you on a probably sees it's like, oh. oh, this ugly guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's ugly, a violation. Not like, not like no, in, yeah. physical ugly, just in general ugly. Uh, yeah. uh, what? Means- <laughs> <laughs> Your aura is just ugly. <laughs> well, she says she finds him unattractive, which means ugly to her. Wow. Effectively. That's if harsh. you said That's someone stone is stone cold. <laughs> I find you attractive. Thanks, ugly is such a harsh word, I hate it. But if you find someone unattractive, you're effectively saying they're ugly to you. Not that they are ugly. To, yeah, to to me, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Right so on. you are ugly to Fred. <laughs> yeah. I mentioned, I mentioned, is she streaming? No, make it feel a little worse. <laughs> no, keep going, keep going. I said I, I find she's, you she's attractive. She's streaming. She's streaming. I find you attractive. Thank bro. you. Go into her stream right now. I am, but I can't I, I want to listen to what she says back. Do you get me? Oh, that's true. Uh, yeah. yeah true, true. So she'll say something about what I never know what it was. Have you touched her? Yeah, I texted her. I said, can I, can I ask you a question? And now we Why not just ask the question? No, nah, because I want to see if she's there or not. 
But now you're making her stop her stream twice. All right, what's I saying? What's the ick of me? Or why do you find me unattractive? Maybe not that one. <laughs> why do you find me unattractive? <laughs> Maybe not that one. <laughs> okay. There was an ick. I don't know. Summarize what the thing was. Okay. okay there was, a, there okay. was an ick that you had. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, while he tries to chat up <laughs> He's messaging Zerka's Freya. girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking how to word it now, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> um, let's carry on. Carry on. Okay. okay. Well, we'll move away from that. Um, what do you want to do in the next however long? While you're in London, I don't know how long you plan to be, but... Oh, it's such a hard question to answer because like this time last year, I wouldn't even be able to guess like where I'd be now. So it's just really tricky. I think especially since I've only been streaming for like a year, you never know what's going to happen. But I guess just like just keep grinding and seeing what i can like build for myself kind of thing you know because i think you start getting proper like set goals once you've been doing it for a while and you know how you grow as a streamer but like or like a creator but for me i think i'm just gonna keep doing my thing find out what mm. it is that like i do how i can grow that kind of stuff like i want to like get some do something like an org or something like that and that's soon just what's your what's like the ultimate goal like what would you do if if everything goes right in the next five years, for example, what's the job that you'd want to be doing? Do you know one thing I've actually always really wanted to do? I've always wanted to do like reporting, like interview people. Really? Mm, I think it's really cool. Oh, live stuff to me. You know what you should do? Wait, so if you, if you plan to do any more YouTube videos? Yeah, I think. You should do, um, you should do interview in London about K-pop. Yeah, videos are that really bang. I've had a chance to interview like K-pop groups in the past as well, but I like stuff like this, just like sitting and talking and stuff. Yeah. Like uh, I'd love to do like a podcast, but. It's oh. just one of those things where I think, again, when you're at this point where you're just starting, like if you take on too many things, it won't flourish the way you want them to. I get that. Yeah, do a podcast. Can't, just um, just stay like out of our territory. It. I'm like a big... <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I, I think more people should do podcasts. It's sick. Yeah, I think, I think it's so easy as well. Like, it's so chill. Yeah, and you but, learn a lot about people more. You, you learn about yeah. the, like, the creators you watch. You know, you learn deeper secrets about them and stuff like that. I'm a big believer in like grinding now so that I can like chill out and do stuff like that, you know? He you raised his eyebrow at me when he said it. You, know, <laughs> oh, no. you went, learn deeper things about yeah. creators. Oh, not the eyebrow. And looked at me like that. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's, it's what you just said is correct. But I feel like, when do you stop? Exactly. That is the thing. I feel like with um, content creation as well, my, when I started doing it, my parents were like, you start thinking about what, you do, what you're going to do after. And I'm like, what do you yeah. mean after? Because yeah. like, job sites have quite a bit of longevity now. Like you see creators who are, you know, I think it's because Older. you can like you can do a variety of different things. So it's like it, I think it's, it's yes, yeah, it's, it's content creation. So obviously, like say I do, I do Pokemon, but it's not the only thing I do. Mm. So like, I could transfer and do something else and still build on that. I think that's why it's so open ended. You yeah. know, if if you put all your eggs in one basket, I think it, it can be like you know what you can do after that trend dies or whatever. But if you if you can be if you can like roll the punches and translate that into different like hobbies and mm -hmm. different stuff, then you can last forever. Well, there was uh, do you know who Nepenthes or Bateson are? So they're FIFA, FIFA streamer, YouTube content creators, etc. Um, both of them are like, oh god, forty, thirty. What? It's a joke. Okay, <laughs> they're like I, I, I love you both. I'll say they average together thirty-four. Okay. Raw, that thunder. Yeah, I don't. That won't be picked up on the, the max. Will not pick that up. But there's a, a massive. That was bit of mad. Like, I'm yeah. scared. <laughs> but they're like, yeah, they're like thirty. Six. I don't know. They're around that. Mm. They've got kids. They're old. Um, <laughs> and they... That's the, like, classification. <laughs> well, they... Um, five years ago, I always looked at them and I was like, all right, they're still doing bits. Mm -hmm. And they're 30. Bates I was is like, 34. So I could, okay, there you Depends go. Depends on 36. Okay. Back so at it with said, the research. Let's go. Let's go. He did. Well. He did. Well done. Um, so I always thought, like, okay, if they're 30 and they're still smashing it, I could still do YouTube at 30. Mm. And now they're 36, 34, and they're still smashing it. Yeah. So I'm like, when does it end? And, like, I and, could be 36 doing... Yeah, and, and they're very niche-based as well. They both yeah. do FIFA. Like, obviously, they, they stream other things as well. They've got, definitely got an audience outside of that, but... They, they're very niche, so, you know, so if they can still keep going, then anyone can. I think like, the concept of what an influ like, an influencer is, like, it's changed so much. Like, it changes all the time to the mm. point where you, it does have more longevity to it because it's becoming more mainstream. Yeah. Like, whereas before it was like, okay, it's kind of a thing that you do where you appeal to, like, the, the 12 to 18, like, demographic, yeah. and then, like, you just move on with your life. But 
now it's mm. becoming way more mainstream. Yeah, it's like Alfie, Alfie Days, just he vlogs now mm. more mature stuff, I think you'd say. Like Syndicate as and, well. And I was gonna say Syndicate as well. They but you know, they just live lives and then they stream that because they've you know, I feel, I feel like the audience grows with you as well, especially yeah. you know, you learn yeah. Simon Simon as well, you know. So it's always a good thing, just you know, keep building so you can go. Yeah, share but, your um, content and stuff. So yeah. you wanna you wanna interview people? Yeah, that's, I think that'd be sick. Goal. I don't yeah. think that'd be like an end goal. It's just all just what I want to do. But I'd like to get to a point where I'm able to do that. You know? Mm. Okay. So Even though I'm awkward as hell around new people. The one time I interviewed a K-pop group, I was just sat there like, "Hi, it's nice to meet." Were you, you. fans of them? Uh, I'd heard that. I listen to their music, but like, if you yeah. think like these, like if you talk K-pop in particular, all these idols are really perfect and pretty, and you had all these girls that were th there than just me. Like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, did you did you have like? Five minutes with them. No, it was like a, we had a couple hours. Oh man, really? And and one of the my friend that was with me was friends with them, so it was really chill actually. Nice, oh, yeah. Okay, that's yeah. It. But when you interview, you know, when you watch an interview and it has like the background music and the edits, that yeah, well, you don't have that in real life. Yeah, it's awkward. The awkward silence. Yeah, <laughs> and we had a translator as well, so I'd say the question, I'd be like, Oh, I'm bad at that as well. Wait. I'm bad because language, language is can, you can translate language, mm. but you can't often like translate. Obviously, slang or like the way you mean certain languages, like inflections. And yeah, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, so yeah. it's very, it's very easy. To... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> thunder again. More thunder. It's very easy to lose, get lost in translation. Great film. Yeah, I got. Um, there was a situation with this interview where one of the girls told a story and they were all dying laughing at it. And so I looked at the translator, and the translator tells me the story, obviously completely wrong. Like no, I no, went, nothing I went funny. To the park. Yeah, literally, <laughs> she, it was like that. Yeah. And she was like, "Yeah, we were at, a, they were at a concert, and the fans did something." And they were all looking at me, waiting for me to laugh. And I was like, <laughs> next question. <laughs> like, it's awful. Did you, did you fake laugh? No, I, I didn't. Because she didn't say anything. I didn't get it. I was uh, like, okay, yeah, so yeah. next question. Yeah. Can you fake laugh? I feel yeah. Like in, 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 all right, I've been doing it for 103 podcasts. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, which podcast number is this? 103. That's 104. Oh, okay. 104. Oh, yeah. Did I make the <laughs> nah. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I see why you're asking that. <laughs> anyway, uh, that was a fake laugh. That was a fake laugh. <laughs> oh, no. Um, was that a fake laugh? No. Oh. no, I just find whenever I've done any celebrity stuff, they're like, yeah, you can have five minutes. And that's that's what yeah, I was. First. And that's what I'd, would really worry me about doing any. Yeah. And although, if you're interviewing them, would you want to do live interviews? I don't, I don't know. I am quite, I, I think I'm actually quite good under pressure. Okay. Because you can't make mistakes. You have to. No, I feel like when you live stream as well, you kind of get used to not. Yeah. So I think in like the YouTube world, especially back in the day, a lot of opportunities to do it. Well, sorry, there would be a lot of opportunities to go and see like a film premiere, yeah, premiere, and yeah. then like and interview the cast. And like sometimes like I would get asked, but I'm like, I don't like doing them because the thing is, if I, if you if you put yourself in the actors like man point of view, don't they're stuck there all day, yeah, and like it's like yeah. a thousand interviews, going to do the same question over and over again, and you always try and be different. So I think like all the interviews always try. So it's always like, oh English slang or like a, a little fun game, and I'm like. Say Tom Holland was like, was sit there thinking, I want to die. Do you know what I'd hate though if it's meeting like an actor or something that I really like to have them be an absolute dick or something just yeah, really yeah. awful. Yeah, it was too bad. A lot, don't we? Like yeah. your hero, your hero is being like, yeah. who's your who's your hero? Like oh, or heroes? Know. Lisa, like a couple. Of <laughs> Lisa, not from Blackpink, the Japanese <laughs> singer. No, I don't know. Like, is there anyone that would, or just anyone that would make you really starstruck? I really, oh, I don't know. Do you know what I'm gonna say? I'm gonna say a name, and you're gonna be. I can already feel you guys going. Oh, Machine Gun Kelly. Really? I love Machine Gun Kelly. I wouldn't get like Star Trek, but like if there's a subject I'd love to meet, Machine. Gun I love Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah. I've heard nice things about him though. I've heard of... very mixed things. Like people, oh, really? whenever I say I like I like Machine Gun Kelly, people either go like, oh, or they're like, oh. Who did Jack yeah. meet? That was. Was it him? Yeah. Jack made that him. might be where it was. Yeah. yeah. And he was like, yeah, he didn't even like look at me or something. That was, yeah. But then it comes to that thing where it's like, were they having a bad day? Was it because they've been sat doing interviews all day? You also yeah. don't find out the other side of the story of maybe Jack mate asked in, I don't know. I don't think he did, but maybe he asked in a way that Machine Gun Kelly took as rude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. love Machine Gun Kelly though? What a fine specimen. Good music. <laughs> I've, actually been, I've actually been listening to him nonstop for yeah, the last he, three days. I love his music so much. He makes great music, yeah. But I feel like I've listened to different songs than you might have. You do you listen to more of his rap stuff? Like his old no. His latest album. I don't know. I just listened Dumb to like time. three YouTube videos. Oh no! He had he brought over, out like an album movie yeah. thing that I made. I made G watch. Dunker, it. Quite you, a few tracks of Youngblood. Like I JJ. love Youngblood. Yeah. Can you name a, a song 
on the album. Bloody you know? Valentine. My ex's best friend with Black Bear. Love that song. Okay. I know Bloody Valentine one. Mm, That's really more good. like pop punk. Yeah, I, I love a bit of pop punk. Cause it's kind of the music I grew up with. Mm-hmm. I'm okay. talking like um, Avril Lavigne. Smoke and Drive. Is that oh, what it's called? Oh, okay. That and like something like Toxic Walls or something. Or In These yeah, Walls okay, or something like yeah. that. Yeah. I don't think they're on an album. I, like my I thought you were naming like, band, like, like bands. No. I, just, I just said Avril Lavigne. <laughs> That's not even a band. <laughs> That's my favorite Machine Gun Kelly song. <laughs> He hasn't, he hasn't one called that, has he? No. Be nice, no. <laughs> it's but, Avril Lavigne. But he could do. He, he, he's the type of guy to make a song called Avril Lavigne. Have you heard the Avril Lavigne conspiracy theory? Yeah. But she's a robot. No, there's, she has a twin. She's yeah. actually dead. And <gasps> she has like a I heard the robot one. There's just a robot one? Yeah, there's, there's a she died and they made, well, she was dying or she, they made a robot and then killed her. Oh, it, I, had I think it's the same twin. same rumor, but yeah. maybe it's been like lost Different in translation. Yeah. I love conspiracy theories. Yeah. Do you know I watched the Britney Spears documentary the other day? Is there a conspiracy, th- conspiracy theory in that? Free Britney. Mm. So isn't that her, her dad's like, her dad owns her. Yeah, that she's, she's under a conservatorship. Conservatorship? What's the word? Conservatorship? Whatever. What and um, she's not actually, so she had her, you know, her breakdown in 2008. Yeah. She had like her kids, like, not take, like kind of taken off of her. Like she, she doesn't like technically own her kids. And that she's like on dr- like drugs, like medicine that she doesn't need to be on. She was put into a psych ward when she didn't need to. And she's just being like. Did she say anything? No, but have you seen her Instagram? No. Weirdly, I don't pay much attention. <laughs> Every now and then I'm like, I wonder what Britney's up to, you know? So you go onto her Instagram, she, oh, it's weird. It's weird stuff. Yeah, Laura, and there's like Laura, a massive yeah. conspiracy theory that she's yeah. like being like held against her will. Yeah, Laura follows that conspiracy stuff. Right? Some TikTok. Like, I don't mind conspiracy theories. I just don't follow any of them. I don't follow it as in like, you know, have you ever seen a baby pigeon? Like, oh, but like, have you ever seen a baby pigeon? No. <laughs> That's blown my mind. No. Got them. But I assume it's because they're in the nest. Yeah, but I, I don't follow it really closely, but when they come up, I'm like, oh. You know, when, you, when you, you go onto the TikTok profile from the For You page and you're like, I'm going in deep now, you know? I reckon I'm that baby that. pigeons are... Right? Um, I reckon they're like fluffy. I bet they're really cute. No, but they're not. Oh. What's a really cute baby animal? Like a kitten? Kittens are quite... Oh, kittens are cute. Kittens are you a cat or dog person? <gasps> I like both. Do but, I really want which to... Which more? One of them. I have a pet One of them has to cease yeah, yeah. to exist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, we want to get a cat out of the flat because the dogs have a dog. Dogs, I say dogs. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, dogs. Dogs Wait. to win. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not to kill off the planet. I really want to go to, when we were going to go to Korea, they have like cat and dog cafes where you could, like sit oh. with the animals and stuff. That was my dream. I really wanted to go to a dog cafe. They have cat cafes here. Do they? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Yeah. I think Freya went to one. Yeah. They have them in Nottingham, if anyone cares. No, no, no. one cares. Out there. You know what? I care. Thank you. Where are you Thank from? You. The thing is, it's in Nottingham. <laughs> I just was hoping you're from Nottingham. It's in Nottingham, though. So yeah. it might not be actual cats. <laughs> might be a cafe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cafe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. That's so cute. I'd be able to, like, sit and, like. But it just does seem a bit unhygienic. But I think the point is, you don't really, like, go there to drink and eat. You yeah. can do, yeah. but you go there for and the cats. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. It's not like a Costa, but you're, like, mm. sat there with your walnut cake and a <laughs> yeah. dog's, like, there. <laughs> yeah. Go away, please. <laughs> Try to drink. Um, big one here. Big something to talk about. Aliens. Ooh. Do you believe in aliens? Isn't there something going to be coming out on like June 1st? Wait, what? Is there? Oh yeah, no. Someone put something in the chat. But I don't know. I haven't yeah, paid much someone attention. Someone put something in the chat. Apparently on June 1st, there's going to be some sort of an, out, an, an alien announcement. So it's like yeah. Donald Trump put something in that June 1st stuff has to be released, like announced or... Yeah, I, I think... But I don't know if it's true. It looked, it looked waffle. Weird. It did look like it waffle. Looked very aliens waffle. not so much. Like ghosts? Do you believe in ghosts? No. No. See, I don't really believe in ghosts, but I feel like it's one of those things you don't believe until you have like an experience. Because my dad, I agree with that. My dad is like really like doesn't believe in that kind of stuff. But when he was when he's back in military and he's doing Tower of London, he saw like people walking around and stuff. But he doesn't believe in them he now. He's I he's a man's an enigma. I don't know. Could the people just be like people? No, it was like <laughs> no, no, I saw like, people on the bridge. Yeah, <laughs> how dare they? <laughs> <laughs> no, like ghosts. But but what what do ghosts look like? This, this, I don't know, ask my dad. No, so this, this is, the reason I'm asking this, right? Is on the, I was driving back home to see my parents and that, uh, to show them the car. On the way back, I was listening to a podcast, Joe Rogan, and he had someone on there who was like one of the first ever guys to ever get abducted by aliens. Oh. Right? And it was him, he got abducted, and there were seven people with him, and they all attest to his story and say it's, you know, it's legit, et cetera. But then, like, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm skeptical the whole way through that I'm thinking it's waffle. I, I believe that there might be aliens to exist in space mm. somewhere. You know, I think there's probably different civilizations that we have not discovered yeah. yet possibly but 
I don't really subscribe to like aliens being like, ooh. ooh yeah, like, if you think how yeah. big the universe is, there must be something else. Yeah. But. So then he was like, uh, yeah, I got abducted. And, and Jorgen was like, oh, so what, what was the craft like? What was the aircraft like? And he was like, oh, yeah, it was a saucer. And it beamed me up. It's like the classic. Yeah, but, but I don't know if he there, created Star that. Trek and was he, like, yes. He, yeah. he might have created that because he was one of the, like, this is like 1975, one of the first people to get abducted. He might have created that. What we know today is aliens. Like that's been stuff. around longer than that. Yeah, but I, I also agree with that. That could be a reason. But yeah, yeah aliens I, as soon as I said that, like I got beamed up. I'm like, no, you didn't get beamed up. And like, <laughs> no, you did not. Yeah. And he's like, oh, so what, was it, what did the aliens look like? He's like, oh, they just, look, just look like, look, looked, like, uh, looked like us. Like two eyes, nose, mouth, you know, hair, blonde. I'm like, oh, it's waffle. Did you, what? You're literally lying. I'm so curious though, if there is though. I thought it would happen after our lifetimes, though. That's the thing. Like that. We're never going to know. Never going to know. That kills me. The FOMO. Yeah. FOMO of ones we are gone in the future <laughs> generations. So you believe, you don't believe in ghosts? No, I've never had an experience. You believe in aliens? Yeah. In like, somewhat? Yeah. What else is there? Something else. If you could live forever, would you? What? All right. <laughs> or, yeah, that's like, would you, would you like to know how you die or when you die? You just write back with the questions, completely ignored your questions, sorry. No, 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 I'm, think, I'm thinking about it. How I die. Because oh, that no, thing is, when. but it's kind of like, do you live in fear of like, do you live better because you know how much time you've got left? Or if you, if say you die in a car crash, will you just, you just never leave the house. You're just terrified of every car because you don't know when it's going to happen. Yeah, I, I won't want to obsess about it. So I, 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 that would limit but, me doing things. But you'd still obsess over it because you're like, you'd start working out how long exactly you've got left to live. No, because it would tell you. So, yeah, like, bit, so tomorrow, I'm like, right, right, then I'll, I'll go. What, what would you, you do? Out? If you found out you're going to die tomorrow, what would you do right now? Drink some Jägerbomb. <laughs> <laughs> Down WKB. <laughs> just, go, just tell Freya. I just, I just have to know what's wrong. I don't know what I'd do if I was... If you found out it's tomorrow, I'd punch someone for sure. Never punch someone. Who? Who would it be though? I don't would know. Would you just run out and be like... Ugh. Yeah, I'd be like... I'd give it's them... I'd, I'd literally take out like a thousand pounds, give it to them and be like, I'm sorry. Bang. Because <laughs> ultimately, I don't need. Yo, Jesus, like, you're giving me a grand. No, you yeah. don't. I don't know. But <laughs> I'm dying. I don't need. I don't need a thousand pounds. I'm dying. John, John will do it. <laughs> John will do anything for a thousand pounds. I respect that. I respect that. But um, can someone answer my question, please? Oh, sorry, what was the question? If you could live forever, would you? Oh. What's the conditions? Would do we I age? age? Yeah. Would we like continuously age? That's a huge, huge. Or would we no, be no, stuck no, like no. this? So, would we get old to a certain age and then stay that age? Here are the rules. The rules are: you can take de aging. No, let me, let me make one rule then. The one rule is that you... Okay, here's the rule. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking about it. When you get to 80 years old, Elon Musk is dead. Elon Musk's son, which we, we, we know as some sort of algebra equation. Yeah, it's just white noise. Yeah. yeah, he has created a way to transfer your mind into a computer. So you can't do anything. You can't live life, but you can know what's going on still. No. No, that's um, no. that's like literally being stuck in a box. Yeah, so you're pretty much the paper. But then surely if they can figure out a way to do that, they'll figure out a way to put you into a body. That's the thing. Yeah, you, you yeah. could be taking the risk. That could yeah. still happen. Ah. That could still happen. But, but you the, might have to live for another yeah, I just die. 500 years. Yeah, because that's not out yet. Yeah, I, I would die. I would not live forever. I would live because I want to like, want to know what happens. I want to know, do they get to Mars? Do they put a tree on Mars? You know, how's my grand grandson doing? Yeah, there is a lot of things I'd like to know. But at the same time, like, I feel like, mm, let's get deep. if you live forever, you won't appreciate the time yeah. No, I will because I'll appreciate my body. I'll be like, oh, I remember when I had a body. That was good. I, I, appreciate, I appreciate that. <laughs> I feel like it's also deep because everyone you know and love would die. You know, dead. they'd all die. Yeah. No, no, no. We'd all get Think transferred. Think of how much like death and stuff you'd have to you'd, live. You're changing the rules now. You can't all get transferred. Yeah, it's a little party, a little Vegas trip with yeah. everybody in their brain tubs. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't think I would actually. I don't think I would. I would do it. If I could check in, if I could like come back from the dedication, he'd be like, oh, what's going on? Can't. Yeah, I would be like, bye. Definitely wouldn't. <laughs> I would. Would you, John? Would you? Yeah, same. John would live forever. If I could live so. forever, like, if, like, say, what I got to, like, 80 or whatever, or whatever age I die, and then they're like, okay, you can pick any point of your life to, like, live at forever. I'd do that. Like an age. I'd do that. Oh, so you can, it's not Groundhog Day. You're not, you're not living that year over and over again. No, no. you can stay it's that like year. you stay at that you age. You'd just be like, okay, yeah, you're, what age do you want to be? I'd okay. be like, all right, cool, I'll be. But then it'd be like, you know, in Twilight where they always have to move. Never I'm not going to lie. I've never seen it. Never seen oh Twilight. My God. And you know what? It's I'm the, so glad. I'm so happy I've never seen it. It's probably the only film we've ever seen, like, agreed on. It's the, it's the only film cinematic that's made vampires not cool. It's a cinematic masterpiece. I don't it, know they what twinkle. Just don't, just because you don't. <laughs> man. It, they twinkle. <laughs> but basically in the, in the movie, it what? makes sense. You twinkle in my eyes. Oh. 
Sorry, we're interrupting something. Sorry, yeah. sorry, <laughs> yeah. Do you mind? They, they, have to move, <laughs> they have to move around because if you live forever and you're always young, people are going to notice that. So do you... And if, oh, like, yeah, they would you take have, you. You have to move. Because that's like, G, G and I always, I think, Tyler and Freya as well, we always talk about if you could have one superpower, what would it be? And they always say fly. But if you could fly, would you just get shot out of the sky? Because people would be like, holy shit, that person's flight... I don't think that'd be their first thought. No. <laughs> Just whip out yeah, a Glock yeah, yeah. and be like... <laughs> like, I've seen plenty of planes in the sky and I haven't thought to shoot them. <laughs> That's not a person though, is it? But like, you know, when no, you, you get like tested on and stuff. So you'd yeah, have to be... Yeah. What superpower would like, you have? I'd love to be able to read minds. And G's always like, no, no. I wouldn't. Like, because you'd, you'd so go tempted. insane. Yeah. yeah. But don't you ever yeah, walk well, down no. the street and you're like, oh, I wonder. Or you see someone staring at you. I do the wonder that, like, but I think it would tempt you and you'd ruin your own life through it. How would you have then? I would have time control. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. But when you take advantage of that as well, it's like... Yes. <laughs> I respect the honesty. What, what would you, Horribly. What would I, so I'm trying to think back because our first ever podcast was discussing that, I think, or one of the first ever ones. I'm trying to remember what my answer was then so I can, like, I'm not changing my answer. Yours is probably teleporting. I was, I was thinking teleporting just now. Oh, the, the power to, like... Oh, no. I'm trying to think of something like, that would help me in my everyday life but that wouldn't, like, ruin me, you know? I think mine was mind, con mind control. We might have swapped, you know. I might have said time travel. You might have said mind control. Time travel. No, is a good I've. One. I think I've always said time. But think about like all the like, you know, like the paradoxes and stuff. Like if something happens, like yeah, a yeah, car crash, but then together. you go back in time to stop the car crash. But then you, the reason, but you went back in time doesn't happen, and there's like a wormhole, you know. I wouldn't go back in time though to s stop anything like that. I just fancy a night out in the 1800s or so. <laughs> <laughs> like, I do. It's quite cool. Pre, I would fancy a night out pre-COVID. <laughs> well, like I wouldn't. You know, say I'm walking down the street and a car crashes. I might rewind time 30 seconds, stop the car crash. But then the, but re but if, then the car yeah. crash wouldn't happen so that you wouldn't but, exist to go back in time. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So what if as well, the person who crashed in that car got rushed to hospital and they met the love of the life. But this hasn't happened. But it would have happened. You, you're, you're, yeah, but you don't know so that. there's an entire alternate But timeline. that's what I'm saying is no one knows what would have happened at that point. Whereas for me to go back to like the 1800s or whatever and do this, that would change everything up till now. And that would change my entire life. Whereas going about 30 seconds and saving someone wouldn't change anything we know. It would change, it would the, it change the reason that you went back in time. So you, you wouldn't exist in the timeline to be like, I need to go back in time. Yeah. So you wouldn't have gone back in time. If you don't see Endgame. Yeah. Doctor Strange and all that. Yeah, Green as long Stone. as I don't see myself. Would you rather go back in time or forward in time? Back. How many years? However many. You want? Because years. that would fix your FOMO. You'd be like, did I, did I go to Mars? A thousand years in the future. It's true. Then everyone I know is dead. But you wouldn't mind you seeing in a brain. <laughs> you literally said you'd sit in a computer. Yeah, but but no, no, hold on. So no, right. If I fast forward time now and everyone will be dead, I wouldn't get to experience but life you're, you're not. No, you're not, li you're not, not teleporting living and living from that point on. Just going forward and then you can come back. Oh, you can yeah, spend okay. one hour sorry, in the future yeah, or that. past. Yeah, sorry. Uh, uh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, no, pass. I go to Jesus. See, see if he's real. I'd go to Jesus. <laughs> no, no. Oh no, I'd go to I'd go to the very but start. What do you time. mean you'd go to Jesus and see if he's real? Where are you going if yeah, he's location? not real? Because I don't think you can go into time travel and go Jesus. <laughs> I think it's quite I'm going, I'm going to what year you want to go? Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you have to go find him. You have to choose a time and a place. Okay, time and place. Yeah, in his tomb. He like revs Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> go there. Yeah, Meet you there. Four show weeks a good time. <laughs> um, but no, mind control is the best because with mind control you can do whatever you want. I, I feel like you turn to such a, that would be your like villain story. There's no way that you can really do that. Without being an absolute dick. Yeah. <laughs> but no, but you wouldn't know I'm being a dick. No, we wouldn't. But, I mean, like, I, but I'd you be, are being a dick. Yeah, yeah. But then no one ever knows. So you'll be like, oh, that's a bit of a dick move. And I'm like, Zoom, and you'll be like, love you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You never know. You don't need to control my mind for that. What about the Thanks. power to like Thanks. fill things? I feel like I heard someone say that before. Like, what? got an empty glass of water, me fill that. Empty oh, bank account, let like, me fill that. Oh. You meant like people. Like, <laughs> like, are you hungry? <laughs> oh, wait, I thought you meant something else. Yes, you could. Oh. <laughs> I thought you meant something else, mate. Not like that. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm no. about to retract my statement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, but that, that is mind control. No, it's not. It is. Not. Filling stuff is not. It is. But like so if I have a glass here yeah. and I fill it, I can literally just go, right, yeah. wine, done. I'd want a power like that that wouldn't turn me into a psychopath. Okay, so it'd take a little bit longer, but I could be like, Simon, I want wine right now. You're going to get it for me. Like, that's different. I still get the same result. 
in but a longer, longer. It would take a longer time. And at the expense right, of your friends. Okay, and here's... you've got different things working there. You've got me to go out to get it yes, instead the, of this. The alternative <laughs> is you can fill a drink up. Wow. You can't do anything else. But with my account, you can account. fill something. Like you can fill anything. Like your bank account filled. Like but if I've got my control, I've got money know, anyway. Empty plate of food. You're hungry. Filled. I can buy some more food with the money I've just stolen with my mind control. There's nothing that mind control doesn't solve. You know solve. what? You live your best life. You go live your best life. If I so. give me mind control, I will. But do you not think you start going crazy in like, for example, um, minor things. Like you could turn up here and I'd kind of be like, oh, those socks aren't as good. And you would like, you'd start changing my opinion on just that. Everyone and would be the same person. Yeah, you'd literally just have everyone being a yes man to you. No, because I'd, I'd, I'd choose would, not to. Like, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I would get to you. I'm not. Yeah, control- I feel like with powers like that, you would eventually. Yeah, it'd spiral. I'm not going to control your mind right now. It would. I'd hope not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would 100. percent Well, then I, I, I still think that's best though. I think I'd stick with re- reading minds. I think it'd be cool. But, I could, but that's what I'm doing. No, you're not. No, you're controlling minds. Yeah. Yeah. So control your mind to tell me what you're thinking right now. No, because they're not thinking. Yeah, my, I'm never thinking. My they're head thinking is what you've blank. told them. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'd rather be able to just read people's minds. Just something small like that, you know, walking down the street, you see someone like staring, are they going to mug me? No. Well, what are you going to do about it if they were? Do you know what I'm saying? Start running before. Yeah, start you, running. Before. <laughs> Where's my control? I say, stop, rub, stop mugging me. <laughs> but you look across the street, there's just someone like. See, <laughs> 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 so time control. Like, give me your. And I'll just walk off. <laughs> pause. <laughs> pa- I think pausing, I would love to. Con- I'll take their wallet. I'd love to pause time. Yeah. But, that, but then do you age? See, look, you can find plot holes for everything. Do you age then over everybody else? Like if you pause time so that you can go and like do whatever for a year. It's true. It's a, a good point. Older. It's a good point. I'm starting to think that I might live forever. Because I don't age. And I know I do age a little bit. You do a little but bit. But a little bit. Think, how, think of, bro, I get ID'd for Red Bulls. <laughs> how tall are you? 6'2 and a half. Don't forget the half. <laughs> <laughs> Never forget the half. But some people say I'm 6'3, so I, but 6'2. But That's I still get ID'd for Red Bulls. That's mad. Yeah. But don't you know who I am? <laughs> I have never have done you, that. Have you ever hit anyone? <laughs> have either of you ever what? hit anyone with a... Sorry, don't you know who I am? I've never done that. JJ does, but not all, not himself. Yeah. So like, if you go, if you queue up to go, like I get a table at a club and they don't, don't let you in, the security will just go in and be like, do you know who he is? Yeah. <laughs> That's mad. I don't think I can, no matter how famous I'd become, I don't think I can ever like... Nah, but, but, like but, the thing yeah. is, in places like... America, you actually have to a little bit. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's actually sad that it's like you actually have to. It's, like if you want to get into a club, for example, you're like, oh no, sorry. Yeah, like, so I explained it wrong. It's not. It's not like show, it's not like oh, do you know who I am? It's more like so they'll show like the his Instagram, and then they're like, you got to remember, like you, you're going out, right? And it's mm-hmm. like everyone's dressed up to go, and everyone's ready to go. And then they like, you like, oh, don't let you in. But then if they know he's got however many followers he's got, they'll let him in. Yeah. It's, it's stupid, but it works. I get it. We went out for drinks for like, I think it was like Freya or G's birthday. And then everybody posted the place on li- uh, like on Instagram and they came over and gave everyone free drinks. And we're like, that's that's okay. what I mean. That's... Good business, I guess. Good business. Got to utilize what you have. Yeah, yeah. got to get them free wickets. It's effectively, effectively <laughs> mind control. Effectively mind control if you just tweet it out and they bring drinks. But I could just mind control anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 could just, I could just go, free drinks and they'll bring it to me. <laughs> Yeah, no, I wouldn't do that. If, if I what, if you had to, what if you had to? That's the, the condition. Control. You have to you have to sit and go to like a, 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 an astral form. What about you can actually have this power. You can't have any other power. You can have that power. But to do it, you have to pee yourself a little bit. Yeah, that has to be some kind of... Con- every time you mind control. Every well. single time. <laughs> could, could, could I... Can I control my own mind and everyone else's mind to think that I didn't do it? Uh, what every You'd time have to you pee a little bit more every yeah. time? So like in this room, for example, Hug. if you uh, change John's mind, you'd have to pee a little bit. Then both of us would kind of look at you like well, you've peed oh, a, bit. See a bit, and then you could control my mind, for example. But then you've peed a bit, and Lexi can see that you've peed and then, more. And then you would have seen that you pee a bit again. Yeah. So it's just never ending cycle. And all, the, all the viewers will see, see it. Yeah. And now I, I, I wouldn't do it then. You wouldn't have that power. No. We talked <laughs> about we broke it. I still have it. I'd actually have that one because yeah. you just use it you when like you're on one on one. Yeah. Okay, but then, but then you still make pizza. Be like, yo, JJ, can you get me a drink, please? Just pee myself a little bit, but he doesn't know. <laughs> and then no one else is here, so they wouldn't know. It's true, but, but that's small. You could have just got your drink yourself. Yeah, but I may as well just have this. <laughs> this is not the conversation yeah. we just had. <laughs> the conversation all came from like, oh, oh no, filling a was, glass it, of wine. It, it was, there's no pee involved then, though. <laughs> <laughs> true. The pee changed my mind. That's the line. True. Yeah, I think well, that's something small. 
Uh, I don't know what you want to talk about. P aliens. <laughs> no, I'm all right. Yeah. <laughs> there's no limit. There's no limit. To what Let we me can see talk what about. did we? We got any more eggs? You want I'm more? So I'm so annoyed. I can't remember my egg. Do you have you got any topics to bring up? Anything you thought? Not my mind's kind of been burnt a bit by your uh, by P. your pee. Well, it's not my pee. It's Simon's pee. <laughs> it's getting weirder. Do you watch? Do you watch any YouTubers out of interest? Not really, actually. I feel like no one. I feel like everyone I ask doesn't watch YouTubers. Yeah, I don't watch. It's not a sign. I don't watch YouTubers. Like I watch the occasional video. Yeah, like whenever, like if it's a Sunday and G and I was sat, sat on the sofa, for like we'll sit and watch Simon video. Like <laughs> nice. <Views. laughs> like, I heard this week's was very funny. Yeah, it's it's not an amazing like concept. It's a mukbang, but it's yeah, it's very funny. JG literally gets put in a bin. Yeah, saw that bit. Yeah, <laughs> like physically in a dumpster bin. <laughs> yeah, Lifted was it was it was it one that was just there for a show? Or was that yeah, actually? it was one for okay. the, that was there for show. But we had put drinks in like ah, okay, your, your bottles and stuff. Yeah. And then they said like, oh, can we put you in the bin?" And he was like, oh, if, you, if you can lift me in. And they were like, okay. And then he realized that he just went, he just went limp, fell on the floor and Harry and Ethan lifted him up and chucked him in. Oh, Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Um, I don't know why I asked. I've been watching Mr. Be- uh, Mr. Beast Burger videos. What, Josh's one? Zerka? No, just in general, like if they come up. I yeah. think we might have watched Josh's, I don't know. During, during, yeah, in London now, for those who don't know. In the UK. Yeah, we couldn't yeah. find it though. Gina couldn't find anywhere to order from. But then we, when I went back to hers, Will had ordered it. And it yeah, like, there's like two places in London, I think, that you can order. It's Maybe Canary? three. One's in Canary. Fair. Well, what do you think about like, because we talked, uh, talked about Bella Porch. Mm. Is there any YouTube music? Because you obviously are K-pop. K-pop stan. Oh, I get asked about... <laughs> <laughs> get asked about TikTok music all the time by like Addison Rae and stuff. What mm. did you think of Addison Rae's song? We, we'll Very that. generic, average song. But people Nothing really, bad. people really came at her for it. I'm like, it just sounds generic. It's not bad. Yeah, it's just yeah. generic if it wasn't her, would it, I've not heard it. But if it wasn't her, would it be a problem? Probably, yeah, probably not. No, it was some not. random like new new person, newcomer. Then. No, I, I like old music. Like you know, I, I'm not really up to date with a lot of things. I prefer older stuff that I, I know boomer. I like. You know. right. You're a boomer. Wow. Such a boomer. Yeah, we can't do a podcast as a boomer. Isn't it? Wow. You should, you should probably not. Yeah. That's Who do you think is more of a boomer, me or Simon? Oh, you're very kind. Oh, no. Well, it's actually really even. But I, I, I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. <laughs> I feel like Simon is. What? I reckon you're, yeah. How am I a boomer? You kind of know your shit though. I know like my you shit. you kind of know. Whereas when you don't, you don't. Yeah, yeah. What? Bro, like what? My ears close to the street always. Yours? Yeah, always. <laughs> I don't I feel like- You didn't even know who Bella Porch was, fat. That's oh, true. Damn it, don't say that. I feel like when it comes to different, <laughs> when it comes to different categories, like you guys yeah, are yeah. boomers you, in different categories. YouTube, Twitch wise, I'm, I'm a boomer for sure. Yeah. But in terms of like mm. memes, I reckon, I'm, I reckon you're a boomer. I mean, I don't have Twitter. Oh, <laughs> he didn't read that's bad. Twitter is such a like. I used to hate Twitter, but it's such not a in really a boomer reason form. though. Like it's I have right. it. You just it's just no thing. No, I literally just got rid of it because I was like, I don't want to read it. Just didn't want to read. No, I just don't like Twitter. Arguing it's the most toxic it. place yeah. in the world. So I got rid of it. <laughs> yeah, like, but true. Yeah. Does that count as a boomer thing? I think the funny tweets on Twitter are good though. Like I li- yeah, li- li- no, I enjoyed it, but then I think that's a boomer thing. I don't know. I think you're both you're both boomers to me equally. Why are you like? Why are you nodding? Oh, I, We're gonna I, attack her for this. Nah, I agree though. You're a boomer. I'm l- no? literally oh. twenty. <laughs> yeah, twenty, 20 years old. So that that's even worse if you're a boomer. You know what? Out of all of like our group, Ethan's the biggest boomer. Do you think? Yeah. It baffles me how YouTubers can be boomers though. Like, surely you have to be like in the in the know of what's like going on. We were one day, but not anymore. I still am on on YouTube. It is just, it's memes and stuff. Mm. I can't keep up with, mm. which sounds, but I hate like saying anything like that because it makes me more of a boomer. Oh, I hate the memes. <laughs> the YouTube. <laughs> but um, Are you on the TikTok? I am. I love TikTok. But I, I just sit on, G and I last night about 10 p.m. were like, we're going to go to bed now. 5 a.m. we were sending each other TikToks from our rooms. Yeah, I've, I've, numerous times on TikTok. I've got, I've, have you ever got to the TikTok where it tells you to stop watching? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bad. Bro, there's, there's, there's literally a TikTok that literally tells you to stop watching. Really? Yeah. And it comes so up quite bad. well. So it doesn't come often. It comes up if you get to that point. See, I only watch like 20 and then I close the app and then wait five minutes and reopen it. That's right. Yeah, okay. I, I'm, I'm deep in that. For like five hours sometimes. Um. Oh, here's one. I have a good question. Do you guys believe in like fate? <laughs> no. 
Really? Uh, oh, wait. I believe that everything happens like, for a reason. So like, it's, so like, you if you okay, so you wait, you went to uni and then you, how did you end up on YouTube? Uh, okay, so I got famous. Yeah, <laughs> 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 pretty much. No, right. I was friends with him at school, and then I went to uni, but I didn't enjoy it, and I was hanging out with him as well, and did he was kind out? of like, yeah. So, what do you ever think about if you hadn't dropped out of uni? Uh. I, I try not to. Literally, right? <laughs> Don't you find that crazy? Because like, if I hadn't have met G, if I hadn't liked to tweet and mm. end up in a Twitter group chat, I'd be at uni. I wouldn't have done YouTube. But I don't consider Twitch. that yeah. fate. That's the thing. I just consider that as like, oh, it just happened to work out like that. Mm, interesting. Interesting. You know what I mean? But do you ever sit and think about stuff like that and like really deep it and you're like, sheesh. Sheesh. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no. So yeah, it's possible, no. We got that. Thanks. No, thank you <laughs> no, for making that I thought you were going to elaborate on that. What I believe in, I believe in like manifesting something. Mm. So that if you have got a goal and you want to get to that goal, I believe that you can get there, but the journey will always be different. But you can get there. One of my really good friends, oh, Kaylin, recently Thanks. really got into manifestation. Apparently there's a TV show called The Secret on Netflix and it changed his life. And he's like really into manifestation now. Like the whole, like all the rocks and like the, like your brain, like frequencies. Like apparently when you wake up that first, like 10 seconds when you wake up, your brain's in like a certain frequency. It's your best time to manifest something. He was talking about just kind of doing something. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah, <laughs> there's a whole level to okay. it. I watched that and then I'll let you know my opinion. Yeah, I haven't but watched it yet. I mean more like, oh, you know, I want to, you know, to perform one day. And I'll, and I'll, so then you I think just work the, towards yeah, it. Yeah, you make decisions then. You make, you make decisions based on that goal. Yeah. I, I don't mean like, oh, if I can I can fly. And then I don't mean like, you can't, you know, if it's impossible, you can't do it. But, but if you think about it, your brain, you only use like 3% of your brain power. Isn't it more than that? Like seven. <laughs> <laughs> Change group. No, but I think like yeah, but like if 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 you have them goals, then you you're gonna make decisions based on those goals. Yeah. So like when so say when um, say if you wanted to do YouTube, right? You'd make decisions based on that. So say if you wanted to do YouTube, you'd obviously hang around with JJ a little bit more because he's got an interest in YouTube too. Mm. So, so, wow, you're saying you'd use him if you wanted to do YouTube? Wow. No, no, but you'd, you'd hang out with him, wouldn't you? So, so, <laughs> so, 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 so mind so, control. <laughs> yeah, so when, I, when I was when I was like starting out, I, I wanted to do music, and I would find like YouTubers to give my music to, so they would play it in the background. So yeah. I would like I'd, I'd message JJ or other people like that, and be like, "Oh, do you want to use my music type stuff?" You know. So what, wait, what did you guys want to be when you were younger? Then like fireman. I didn't. I, I, want, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was about to be like, okay, I respect this. When I was younger, I wanted to be no joke a con artist. Oh my god! I want How to, young are you talking there? Mind control, Eight. con artist. Eight. I used to watch Hustle. You know the show Hustle? Oh, yeah. yeah and I used to want to be the um, Mickey Briggs. I mean, no, Boomer. What's that show? Yeah, what's that? That's... <laughs> I genuinely don't. Oh, wow. I know. I saw your reaction. <laughs> okay. I was like, I can't agree to this. Now, some, now some questions for you. Do you know what Brainiac is? Yeah. Okay. How? I was on TV when I was... So who was the presenter? Richard Hammond. Yeah. True. John Tickle. Yeah, he meant John Tickle, but Richard Hammond was the presenter. Was, that, was yeah. when I was, that was when I was a kid. He must have been like three. No, no, they were both on it. John Tickle was just the guy who did the part Things that Things that make went, you like, go, hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I don't know. He pops up on TikTok sometimes, you know? Really? Yeah. That's because we've spoken about him recently. Yeah. TikTok knows. Like they can hear you. Manifested it. Yeah. It used to block caravans for some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not sure why. Because... Richard Hammond hates caravan. <laughs> Bro, t TV shows have gotten so bad. Yeah, TV, TV shows have. Like, as in like actual like broadcast television shows yeah. have got bad. Like Netflix have got quite good. I don't watch TV. I need some new Netflix shows to watch. No, I finished Euphoria. I watch TV shows, yeah. Yeah. Like on Netflix, but mm. yeah. I only watch football on TV. T Lester. Yeah. Good game. You're not a football fan at all, are you? What, what are the sports... Volleyball like. because of haiku. Yeah, haiku. I'm not gonna lie. I, I have actually learned a lot about volleyball from that show. I actually prefer playing sports. Like I love playing sports. Like What's I was sports play. Um, I like swimming. I went swimming yesterday. Yeah. I was like track and field, also basketball. Netball. I was gonna say until basketball, basketball, I felt like you name things you don't really play. Yeah, I like. I, I like to do. <laughs> you know like I, mean? I love swimming. doing sports. Like I play swimming. <laughs> I play swimming. Um, like I'd rather play sports than watch it. I feel like okay. even football, like if I... Um. Is, there, is there anything that you actively have an interest in? Sports wise. Oh. Like, for example, we would talk about, you know, the FA Cup final in football. Oh, yeah, no. No sports like that? I don't think so. What about dancers? Dancers don't really have stuff like that. There is a sport. I can feel it in... Why am I suddenly thinking, you ask me a question, my brain goes blank. I'm like, no, what step is up? sport? I love step up. Honey. I, 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 honey I, is one of the... Yeah, bro, I used to watch Honey so movie. much. I used to watch it like eight times in a row when I was a kid. I go and, I, it. Jessica Alba. 
Honey. Oh no, I want to watch it. Lil Romeo. Romeo. It's so good. I want it's to watch so it. good. It's sick. Okay. Sick. I've actually gone into esports recently. I love watching Valorant games. Oh, yeah, yeah. That doesn't really count. Just count. No, just count. You've like, oh, yeah. did, did you see the um the the the, the RES yeah, CP last night? Was that made up or was that it? What's the Rocket League one called? Oh, oh I know like the about. RC RL C- RCS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that counts. It's like yeah, yeah, it counts. Of course, yeah. Okay. I, I I prefer playing. So I don't like sitting and watching it, but I'm just like I like doing stuff. Mm. I don't like really like sitting still. Yeah, fair. Yeah, I think I've built my entire life on since then. <laughs> like literally five hour Discord calls every day. Mm. Just sat there chatting away. Do you watch any dancers? Do you, do you know any dancers that aren't K-pop related? I used to. I used to watch like Jordan Fisher a lot. Did you watch like World of Dance? Used to, yeah. I used to oh. like study that. So it's okay. so cool, isn't it? When you'd like study dance, you'd have to, you'd sit and watch it. When you got home, be like, whoa. Yeah. Oh, the amount of hours I've sat just watching those videos. It's just cool as hell. You like Honey then? It's a dance film. Honey's really good. Yeah, but if it is it like Step Up? No. Oh, okay. I don't know what it is. So it's, it's not like a dance off. It's more like um, dancing's just involved. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. It's good. You should watch it. I really, I really like it. Movie. Okay. But when I was a kid, I liked it. <laughs> so should I watch it now or not? I haven't seen it in a long time, but when I was a kid, it was good. Yeah. Oh, okay. I always hate recommending movies I watch and haven't watched in ages. Yeah, it might, be, might be bad. It might be bad. Okay. Would recommend Twilight though. Oh. Well, I am actually starting Attack on Titan season four today. So. Yeah. So what, <gasps> what anime should I watch? Don't say that one. Oh, oh, Haikyuu. Attack on Haikyuu. Titan is the one though. Yeah. Attack on Titan just is the one that you should start with because it is just like, so. Ow, it is just so good. But um, Haikyuu is so good as well. Oh. But that has a special place in my heart because it was the first one I ever watched. Oh, Haikyuu. Oh, so I think you know the real so reason I didn't watch Attack on Titan is because we watched the first episode here. I went back to watch it at Netf- on Netflix at home and it literally said this will be re- uh, being removed from Netflix that uh, next week. So I was like, well, I'm not going to get invested in it if it's going to be removed. No, I Have did the opposite. I, I binge watched it into, like, in one day. I binge watched watch everything. No, 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 but, then, but, then I, but I know that the next season is not going to be on. It's so easy to binge watch anime though because it's like 20 minute episodes. Yeah. So you can sit and go, you never sit and go, I'm going to watch one episode. Like you watch like six, seven, eight. I think I'm always so behind on Pokemon as well. I always feel like dishonest by watching something else. How long do you, how long do you want to spend watching anime in terms of to watch the first one? Like, do you want to watch something that's like three seasons? Do you want to watch something that's like oh. six seasons, one season? Okay. Watch Attack on Titan. I'll watch it. Watch Attack on Titan. Is it on Crunchyroll? Get yourself a crunch, crunchy yeah, Crunchyroll yeah. bangs. I want to watch Tower of God. That's one that I want to watch. It's really good. A group of Stray Kids did the uh, OST and it's really good. So. If you want to watch something that's one season, watch Vinland Saga. It's not very good. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. But I, it? l- yeah. I like movies. Okay. How watch can your a Saga name? if it's one series? Because there will be another series. Ah, okay. Yeah. Mm. I'll wait then. See, that's what I'm like. I wait until it's done and then I watch it all. Mm. Which is probably why I started watching Attack on Titan because I heard about like... Don't spoil it. She didn't. I didn't. No. That was the end of the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, um, I mean, I think, I think we've yeah. spoken about everything that good, we... Good podcast. Couple of bases, aliens, mind control, peeing, yeah. anime. Um, Why did you go peeing? I, I don't know. <laughs> it's because I was going to say, oh, you have to shit yourself every time. And I was like, but shitting yourself is Boy, so yeah. it's like... It's a bit different. <laughs> like that's something you can't just kind of wallow in. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you like, if he, if, if you control John's mind right now, but shit yourself, no, 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 no. I would start thinking like, I don't know how much I can hang out with him this much if he shits yeah. himself randomly. Well, yeah. If, yeah. It's, if it's a little bit of pee, it's like, okay, maybe you're just having a bad day or something. Or, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like poo is, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't ask that. Exactly. Because I would have, I would have said no. Yeah. Well, he said it now. Yeah, so like, <laughs> right, on that note, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I guess we have to. Well, um, do you want to, Plug any, I don't know which, well, Twitch mainly, yeah, I Twitch. guess, right? Yeah, Twitch. Lexi Marie X on Twitch. I'm pretty much Lexi Marie X on everything now. I'm just Lexi Marie on YouTube. Well, this will go out on Wednesday and hopefully Thursday you have internet. <gasps> yes. Oh, so sick. maybe I'll actually be doing my job by the end of the week. Do you have a schedule streaming? I stream every day at 11 a.m. Damn. That's sick. Okay. Well, I don't want to say Thursday. Thursday, you're going to stream Thursday and if you get internet. Is it, is, you don't, you don't jinx it, you? you don't jinx it. Sunday, Sunday, okay. Sunday for sure. I'll be okay, sure. Sunday, this Sunday. 11 a.m. Link in the description down below, 11 a.m. Be there or be square. Yeah. Yep. I want to see how many people come from the podcast. All yeah. six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello, Michael, Steve, Julie. Jacob. Yep, Jacob, Silver. Yeah. Um, Samantha and Roxy. That's seven. But okay. Was it seven? <laughs> 
See? You, you don't think count. you're improving. You guys we're, are reaching out. We're <laughs> <laughs> just reaching yeah, yeah. a new level, you know. But um, yeah, thank you very much for coming on. Yeah, and appreciate for inviting me. Sorry. And um, see you guys next week. Yep. Peace. Bye.